Board of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Board of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. At ColdwellBanker.com, you can get an instant estimate on your home, compare cost of living city by city, and learn more about our revolutionary seller's assurance program. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. 2022 football season's here, and the Oakwood Cafe is ready to serve you pancakes as big as your head. Come on down on Saturday morning after the big game and eat a plate full of hash browns till your belly starts aching. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at Walnut Hill Farm. Woo! AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've come to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us. And go Big Red. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. Purchase a new Ford vehicle from us, you'll be getting more than a great vehicle. We offer an exclusive 10-year warranty on all new Ford vehicles. Best selection we've had in years. 975 exit 336 or FordofDalton.com. Go Catamounts! Hey Dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know, we can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging. Your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Have you been told it's going to take three to four weeks to repair your transmission? Hogwash, not here at Transformers Transmission. We've got most of your domestic transmissions in stock and ready to go. All back with a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Come, Come see, see us. Challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education, basic needs, and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And Linda United. We can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. We're proud to be the only President's Award winning dealership in the area. A testament to our dedication to customer satisfaction. We've been voted the top Ford dealer in all of Georgia by Dealerator.com. And remember, Ford is built for America and Ford of Dalton is built for you. 
The 22 football season is here and we are fired up for our area teams. And Cherokee Pizza is the best place to start or finish the game. Come here for the pizza, the beverages, or the arcade, baby. Good luck teams and go dogs! Woo! Welcome to Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Our 250,000 square foot showroom is filled with every kind of indoor and outdoor furniture imaginable, ready to take home today, along with a huge selection of custom cabinets, appliances, lighting, and accessories. Need flooring? We have that too. Shop our massive selection of in-stock carpet, hardwood, LVT, ceramic tile, and area rugs. Take advantage of our free design consultation to make your home look its best. Visit us today at Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Your destination for home. Experience the power of the Lynx. OptiLink streaming app VidLink, powered by its fastest internet service, GigLink. Your link to reliable remote access to healthcare. Your link to the best educational opportunities. Your link to our community's only local provider. Your link to the ultimate in entertainment choices and gaming experiences. No interruptions and faster downloads power up your life with the perfect combination of speed and entertainment. VidLink and GigLink. Upgrade today and get the power of the Link. Hey folks, Jason Denson, Ford of Dalton, North Georgia's fastest growing dealership and home of the Power Buy. Our new Ford vehicles come with Ford of Dalton's exclusive 10-year, 150,000 mile powertrain warranty at no cost to you. FordofDalton.com. Hope to see you soon. 54 years. How do we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped, helped so, so many, many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Taylor Industrial Sales After Hour Service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! I'm not lost exactly, but hey, are you planting that tree? Wait, where are the flags? The paint? Didn't you contact 811? I've dug here before, it's fine. Contacting 811 to have all underground utilities marked is the law, and it protects us all. Here, let me borrow your cell phone. Dogs don't use cell phones. Humans shouldn't dig before contacting 811. I mean, woof. Online or on the phone, contact 811 at least two business days before any digging project. Brought to you by Georgia 811. Can we keep them? Hey football fans, I'm Chris and this is my dad Charles. Here at Transformers, we believe in no gimmicks, just affordable pricing and quality repairs. Come see us at Dalton, Cartersville, or check us out online at TransformersTransmission.com.
Cass Bay, D-line, sophomore. Preston Cox, D-line, sophomore. Striker Woods, O-line, D-line, senior. Riley Souther, center, senior. Francisco Ortiz, O-line, D-line, junior. Eric Fur, O-line, junior. Michael Wynn, guard, senior. Payne Starlin, junior, O-line, D-line. Yair Sosa, linebacker, senior. Denzel Vasquez, outside linebacker, junior. David Rivas, running back, linebacker, senior. Adrian Gongora, athlete, junior. Andy Gutierrez, linebacker, junior. Ethan Long, quarterback, junior. RJ Story, receiver DB, senior. Caleb Staten, junior, linebacker. Cameron Staten, junior, athlete. Ben and Phelan, tight end, senior. Andy Atangana, athlete, senior. Kendrick London, wide receiver, safety, junior. Nash Smith, wide receiver, DB, sophomore. Jess Unlock, tight end and defensive end, senior. Adrian Hernandez, senior, athlete. Bubba Tanner, athlete, senior. Good evening. Welcome to Dalton Catamount football for game six of this season. We have just had the coin toss. Your captains for Dalton were number one, Bubba Tanner, number two, Adriel Hernandez, number three, Jeff Son Locke, and number 75, Striker Woods. My name is Ladarian Edgman, and I am joined by Curtis Carson. And of course, we are coming to you through Brandon Brown Productions on the live stream. Before our catamounts run through the uh, run through the sign, let me mention our corporate sponsors to you. Those being Adcock Financial Group, Associates of Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Bayer Paper Tube, Biltwell Bank, Carpets of Dalton, Kaler Industrial Sales, Colwell Banker, Kennard Realty, Direct Packaging, Duncan Tree Services, Engineered Floors, Ford of Dalton, Jefferson's, which is open late after every home game, Hamilton Medical Center, Helton Tire, Longhorn Steakhouse, Oakwood Cafe, Pete's Care, Transformers Transmission and Complete Auto Repair, the Dalton Quarterback Club, and Brandon Brown Productions. And right on time, here come your Dalton Catamounts. Dalton comes into tonight with a four and one record. Hiram, the Hornets, our region opener, five and oh. Curtis, we have saw just a little bit of Hiram in the warmups. One thing we do know, they have got a kicker. They can kick it from here to Murray County. And uh, he's legit. I don't know which team he'll be playing for on Saturdays or Sundays, but fans, you're going to see a kicker tonight. Uh, Hiram Curtis has got the size. They look to have the speed. They have, they're averaging 45 points a game. Our defense, my man, is going to have their hands full. Yeah, it's going to be another powerhouse game for Dalton. Good thing we played Cedartown. We did lose a, a, a starter, uh, Andy Gutierrez, tonight. So hopefully the, that won't translate on the field. Dalton's going to have to, you know, next man up mentality. But Hiram's a good team. But we've played good teams. We've, we have uh, defensively matched them, you know, Mono y mano, so to speak. Right. And we've got to get out here tonight and we've got to make sure that we play clean football. This is where Dalton kind of struggled last week, I think, was just playing clean football. We were kind of off balance. I think Cedartown had a lot to do with that. Um, so tonight, we've got to make sure we get back to what we were doing to be successful. And, you know, balanced offense, really good defense, clean football, don't turn the ball over. And I think Dalton will be just fine. Dalton, excuse me, Hiram won the toss. They deferred to the second half, so Hiram will be kicking off to Dalton. Dalton drops back number one, Bubba Tanner, number two, Adriel Hernandez. You're going to be getting a uh, quick look at the size of Hiram once our catamounts get on offense. And there goes the kick, and Atten's well out of the end zone. Atten goes down to the pine straw behind the goal post. That may be a theme for the night with their kicker. He is, uh, he's got an incredible leg. Dalton will come out first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Our, as Curtis mentioned, our Cats are coming off of a heartbreaker last week to Cedartown. Dalton falling 35 to 27. Hiram is ranked fifth in 5A. Hiram, uh, Cartersville, and Calhoun are all ranked in the top 10. Dalton was at number 10 last week. We have got Ethan Long, your quarterback, Adriel Hernandez to Ethan's right. We got two receivers to the bottom, one to the top. We got Bubba Tanner going in motion. Adriel's going to roll out of the pocket, going to step up. Adriel, uh, Ethan's going to take off. Ethan's got a great, great decision by Ethan Long. No flags. That's a first down, Dalton. Yeah, Ethan made a good read there. The linebackers kind of just ran and went with the receivers. 
he did have Kendrick's London over the middle, but decided, hey, I've got 15 yards, might as well take it. Ethan is, makes some very good decisions from that position. First and 10, Dalton from their own 36, as Ethan picked up 16 yards on the very first play. Dalton, three receivers to the bottom. You've got R.J. Story, Kendrick's London, and Jeff Son Locke. You've got Adriel Hernandez beside Ethan. Ethan's going to throw one out here intended for Kendrick's London. Kenny has caught the ball. That's a first down, Dalton. No flags. The Big Red has already got it down into uh, Hiram territory. Curtis, two plays, two first downs. I like this ratio. I like what we're doing. We kind of did this against Rotmark. Start, struck quick. Yep. Um, you, you had the, the defensive back. Wasn't really reading the football, and Kenny found the football and went and got it. And great play by Kenny, great throw by Ethan, and here we are, 30-yard line, so do something with it. Big Red is already down inside uh, Hiram's uh, territory. Again, unsung heroes every week. The offensive line is giving Ethan plenty of time to throw. Ethan's going to pitch this one back to Adriel Hernandez. we got a flag on the play. Adriel is still going. Adriel is going to take it to the house, but we have got a flag on the 33-yard line. Let's see. Let's see Looks what, like it's against let's see what be, this uh, is all about. It's either offsides or against the Salida procedure. Illegal shift. We've got a shift against Dalton, so bring the touchdown back. Great run by Adriel to, uh, he was hit by I think everyone on the Hiram defense and kept, stayed on his feet, got into the end zone, but it's all for naught as this one is coming back. I mean, the good news is that's what play number three, unfortunately illegal shift, but we've had some big chunk plays. Mm -hmm. So Dalton's hitting on all cylinders right now. We just gotta make sure we, again, play clean football. Uh, and Adriel, he's, a, he's hard to get down. He's a good running back. Cats have it first and 15 from the Hiram 34 yard line. Ethan gives it to Adriel. Adriel around the end. Adriel's got a good run on this one. Great block by Kendrick's London. I always love to call out blockers because you don't really have a, a good run if you don't have good blockers. It just doesn't happen. Typically, uh, if you're trying to go through three or four guys to get yardage, you're not going to get many. That was good blocking on the edge. Good run by Adriel. Adriel got about 10, Curtis, because it's second down and five. So uh, fantastic run by Adriel. If you didn't know any better, you could look at Hiram's uniforms and think we're playing Cartersville. Ethan's going to roll out, and he's going to throw it out to Jeffson Lock. Jeffson's wide open. Jeffson's down to the 10, down to the six. That's going to be a no flags, first and goal, Dalton. Yes. What a great play call by Coach Long right there, and Ethan. Wait until the last second till Jeff Son was able to get open and made that good throw right there. So uh, the cats are clicking on all cylinders. Let's make sure we get in this end zone. Last week we had a really good opening drive, so let's finish this one. Absolutely. We got number one Bubba Tanner coming out, number eight Bannon Phelan coming in for Dalton again. Cats have got it first and goal from the Hiram six yard line. We got Kendricks London and RJ Story to the bottom. Adriel in the backfield with Ethan. Just started here in the first quarter. Adriel Hernandez is going to be stood up. He's not going to have any progress on this one. As uh, you see a, a, an example of the size of the uh, Hiram defense, that number 90, number 90 being Deontay Petway. He looks like he's seven foot from here. Their, their defensive line is big. One thing I noticed when I walked in the booth up here is they are a very large football team. It's kind of the theme against Dalton is that you just play very big exactly. players. But exactly, exactly. We play huge teams every week. Adriel with the – no, it's Bubba Tant. No, it's Adriel. It's Adriel. Adriel has scored his second touchdown. But this one, one <laughs> This one will count, though, as 9.47 left to go here in the first quarter. The Big Red has struck for six. Six-nothing Dalton. Yeah, just a power read right there by um, Coach – or Ethan Long there and – Handed to Adrian, good blocking up front. Adrian did the rest. Number 20, Adrian Gangora, getting ready to kick. Number 12, Asher Renfro, your holder. Good snap, good hold, kick is up and looks good from my view. It's seven to nothing Dalton. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. 
Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dolph. We're proud to be the only President's Award winning dealership in the area. A testament to our dedication to customer satisfaction. We've been voted the top Ford dealer in all of Georgia by Dealerator.com. And remember, Ford is built for America and Ford of Dalton is built for you. 54 years. How do we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped, helped so, so many, many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. Dalton has uh, scored on their opening possession. Number 20, Adrian Gongora getting ready to kick off. Number 25 for Hiram, Isaiah Swan, back deep to receive. That ball is going, is it a touch? Nope. Oh, it just went out yard. just short of the pylon. Thought we was going to be pinning them back to the 20-yard line, but Hiram will bring it out to start their first series on offense from the 35. I don't know if that was a, I mean, obviously a directional kick intended to try to go right there at the pylon. Unfortunately for Gongora, got a bad bounce and went left instead of straight. Um, gives in Hiram pretty decent field position. Who put that pile on on the goal line? I know. Put that thing on the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's a good look at Hiram's offense. Is number eight quarterback, Ryan Strickland. He has got speed, size, and strength to his uh, disposal whenever he wants it. Hiram with two receivers at the top, two to the bottom, one coming in motion. Number three, we'll get you names in just a minute. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Okay, number three for Hiram is Caden Hamilton one of their main backs. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, we're, we're dealing with a couple of, um, one's an injury, one's the other the situation. Ejection, right. uh, so we've got some next man up mentality going on. So we'll see how that plays right. out for Dalton as the day, game goes on. We've got number 20, Adrian Gongora filling in this evening. We've got number 10, Caleb Staten. Number six for Hiram has got the first down for the Hornets. That is Deshaun Williams. Curtis, they have got several running backs who can tote the mail. Yeah, it looks like they obviously want to, they're testing the edges right now yeah, with they their wanna, run. They're pretty quick, right. obviously. Last year when we played them, they scored in bunches, so Dalton's got to be careful. You can see the size of that offensive line. They've got the beef to go off the middle, but like Curtis said, good tackle by good. number 20, Adrian Gongora. They're having a lot of success out on the perimeter. And until that play, no gain, thanks to Adrian. Yeah, Dalton's going to have to be quick about getting on, on and off the field, though, because Hiram's quick snapping. That is a very quick snap. Yeah, we were uh, almost off sides on that play. I don't think we're going to have to worry about a delay of game on uh, Hiram's offense at this pace. Number six again with the ball. Tackled. Great job, Dalton defense. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage as Deshaun Williams is not going to be gaining anything. Number eight, Bannon Phelan, 52, Peyton Starling. Number 10. 10 is uh, Cameron Staten. Caleb. Cameron's right. number nine. You're right. I was just feeling <laughs> I was just feeling brave about these names. Third and 11, Hiram from their own 45. They need to get it down to Dalton's 44 for a new set of downs. Yeah, they're definitely testing our corners, seeing if our corners can tackle. And all year long, we've done a pretty good job. So, We've got RJ Story in single coverage down here to their receiver. Quarterback rolled out of the pocket, took off with it, and he's got a first down. Yeah, Dalton's going to have to learn from that. I think you're going to want to spy him. Ryan Strickland, as Curtis, he's proven to be a dual threat already. Yeah, you got to learn from that because you want to get them off the field, obviously, but very athletic quarterback, very athletic running back. So you can tell he has got some serious speed as Hiram is down to the Dalton 43, where it's first and 10. Strickland with the ball, hands off to somebody. Number one. Uh, uh, one. One. Yeah. Chase Taylor. It's, it looks like four. it's Okay, I'm told it's number four, which is Kendarius Brown. It is four. It looked like a one. Um, Good eyes, Brandon. But it looks like it's going to be a little different ball game than it was last week. You mm -hmm. know, right. Cedartown ground and pound. They're still grounding it, but they're really kind of hitting our edges. And they've got a lot of misdirection stuff. Oh, it's number three. Number three, Caden Hamilton. We're going to hear these names all night long. Well, we talked about adjustments a little bit earlier uh, while we were in break, and Dalton's going to have to make some adjustments, I assume, to try to make sure that we 
mean, it's hard. It, it, right. This direction, you just got to play assignment football. You got to make sure you stay in your gaps, maintain your integrity, and don't get beat. Hiram has got the ball down to Dalton 29, where it's another first and 10. Seems like we've said that way too much already. As number four, Kendarius Brown in the backfield with Strickland. Strickland with the ball, going to throw it out here to Hamilton. Hamilton gains about eight, it looks like, if not more. It was like nine, maybe. Man, they are moving the ball right yeah. down the field. They're, they're doing a good job of finding our weak spots in our, in our uh, I don't think zone. I guess it'd be a zone. Um, you seen for playing man or not, but they're finding weaknesses in our defense. And They have definitely been watching some game film because they know we're without two of our big weapons on defense. Number six again with the ball. Six just goes it straight up the field. Deshaun Williams. Guess what? That's a first and 10 from the Dalton 11 yard line. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, we'll see the adjustments. Coach, Long, or Coach uh, Carpenter is going to make some adjustments to try to alleviate some of the misdirection that they're creating. We're kind of, our defensive linemen are just kind of getting out of kilter trying to slant and they're doing a good job of blocking up front. That same edge, they're running around to that same edge over there. And on to number six, Deshaun Williams. Down Williams down. gained, gained six or seven. It's gonna be second and about four. Hiram can get a first down without scoring. Number eight, Bannon Phelan coming off on this play. Yeah, I mean, they're, they just go quick, too, so. We got a flag, thankfully, on this play. Hopefully, yeah. it's against, uh, hopefully, yeah, I, it's against Hiram. I don't think they got set. Yeah. Illegal shift. shift. Oh, illegal motion, is that the motion I think one? it's motion. I think one is shift, two is motion. That's what I think. I don't think they got set. They're going so fast that. Is that a 10 or 5-yarder? Uh, I think it's 5. Rats. Could be a 25. Just kidding. You got my support. <laughs> I got you back. Second and about eight for the Hornets. As that will move the ball back to around the uh, nine yard line. My goodness at the miss. You yeah. got to be so disciplined yeah. on, on defense as number three, Caden Hamilton's going to take it into the end zone untouched. So Hiram on their on each team's opening possession on offense. Both teams have scored. Again, Hiram averaging 45 points a game. In just a minute, we'll give you the uh, scores from all of their games leading up to tonight. Is that 39, the kicker? 39, yes, sir. 39, Oliver Castaneda getting ready to kick the PAT. Number one, Chase Taylor, your holder for Hiram. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up and good. Seven to seven, 536 left to go. We'll be right back. Dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No, son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know. We can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Back here with you from Harmon Field. Both teams have scored on their opening possession. 536 left to go here in the opening quarter from game six from Harmon Field. Region opener for both teams. I mean, like we saw last year, they're going to score in bunches. I, I do think Dalton's going to make some adjustments and try to get some, some speed in there. They're obviously beating us off the ball on defense. They go very fast. Not only are they fast, but they have got a massive offensive line. That may be one of the few kicks, kickoffs that does not go into the end zone as Bubba Tanner is going to bring it out. Bubba has got some real estate. Bubba's got a lot of real estate, and Bubba has got some people closing in on him, and Bubba's gonna be took out just shy of the 45-yard line. Great return by Bubba Tanner as he took out some on the sidelines, too. And Dalton 
is going to be in great shape for this next, which is just their second offensive series from their own 45-yard line, Curtis. Yeah, I mean, the offense was clicking, and Bubba just helped them out even more. So let's hope that we can have some success here. Um, I think by Hiram's probably going to want to kick it out of the end zone as much as they can. Yeah, that's the only bad thing about Bubba's return is they're going to say, uh-oh, don't do that. They'll be kicking it to the field house from here on. Ethan, of course, from the shotgun. Adriel to his right. Two receivers to the top. This is going to Adriel Hernandez. Hernandez looking for some room. Adriel's got some room. Adriel is going to pick up a first down. There is no flags. The big red offense is looking fantastic. That's enough to move the chains. First down, Dalton. Looks like Adriel's trying to get a block from the official right there. That's the 12th man. <laughs> As he was running, he kind of got it. Uh-oh, where do I go? And Adriel got the, or Adrian got the, Adriel got the first down. So great job. I love watching him run. You know, Dalton had a, a stable of running backs. Yes, throughout the history of this school. Dalton with three receivers to the top. R.J. Story in single coverage down here at the bottom. we got Bubba Tanner, number one, going in motion. Empty backfield now for Ethan. 4.50 left to go in the first quarter. Ethan with the ball. Going to throw it out here to R.J. Story. R.J. is tackled immediately by number two, Brandon Davis. R.J. did not have a chance to do anything as soon as he caught the ball because Davis was saying hello. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure of the play. I don't know if they missed. I don't know if they was thinking they were back. I don't know. I was trying to figure out the play there. But, uh, hey, it's a good first down play because you got four yards on the play. It's good as a four-yard run. That's always better than losing. Well, there's two people that can practice all the social distance, and they want tonight, and that's the punters for both teams. They mo but bo both might be able to go back to the house. Adriel Hernandez again with the ball. Adriel's got a great hole, great run. Dalton is going to be down inside the 35-yard line. He's right at the marker. If it's not another for it is. They're moving the chains. First down, Dalton. Man. Ground and pound. I love this. The, the balance is what gets what makes our offense successful. Last week we were successful offense. So we just made a couple of blunders. Right now we're very crisp. Adriel again with the ball. Adriel's got a lot of room. Adriel Hernandez. Is Adriel going to take it to the house? Did he, did he, did he? Touchdown, Dalton. Yes. 13 to 7, the big red. Well, right now it's going to be can, whose defense is going to be able to make the stop. So I think the first defense that starts playing with 13 players is going to be the team that wins well, we, we and gets away with it. We continue to use the official. We might, we might have it. So. But, hey, uh, great run right there by Adriel. Just outrunning his man and getting to the house. The Hiram defender was very fast. That shows you the speed Adriel's got. He outran him. 20, Adrian Gangora getting ready to kick the PAT. Asher Renfro on the hold. Kick is up and looks perfect to me. 14 to 7, Dalton. We'll be right back to Herman Field. How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us and go Big Red. Right back with you from Harmon Field. We have had three touchdowns scored. We still have 338 left to go in the opening quarter. Last year, Dalton, 52 to 45 winners over Hiram from Hiram High School last year. Curtis, this might be 60 to 58. Your let's, final, let's Adrian Dalton. Yes, Adrian Gangora with a very short but high kick is going to be fielded by one of the upback men. All right, get him. Take him. Well, tonight, take him down. Number nine for Hiram, Amari Lindley on that return. Hornets have great field position, and they did not need great field position. No, Dalton didn't need to give. They kind of got the same field position we had on our mm -hmm. second possession, so. Yeah, a little uncomfortable. Those guys starting on the 45. The yeah, way that offense looked, them starting on their own five is enough. 
I'm kind of curious to see that some of the adjustments. I know Coach uh, Carpenter. Um, They're working on something, I yeah, promise Yeah, got you. on the sideline, the defensive line, the linebackers trying to figure out the best method of attack here. Again, number eight, Ryan Strickland, your quarterback for the Hornets. Going to run it straight up the gut as number four for Hiram. Going to be took down just around midfield or just, well, Check. is that the same official that got in the way a while ago? Uh, uh -oh. Might be. Hope he he's okay. Have, he's uh, kind of squatting down got, there. I think he got his foot stepped on by a police. Yeah. You know how that hurts. Oh, my goodness. Hope he's okay. Don't want nobody getting hurt out here. That's why, if that's the same one, he was also, he, he was almost uh, hit earlier. Well, those guys in the middle, you know, they're part of the field, and it's hard to get out of the that's way. That's a very dangerous spot it's for an a, official to all, have to be. You better be elusive. You better be quick, too. <laughs> I like the word elusive. <laughs> it's longer. <laughs> Second and five from midfield as the Hornets are going to run it out here to the, to the side. Number seven for Hiram. Jamari and Watley. It's a great job. Who was on our corner there that kind of stood up the defensive back? Was that uh, RJ Story? Uh, whatever you say, I'll go along with it because I was just watching uh, Watley trying to get a name to go with it. I, I mean, he created the, so trying to make sure you set that edge and, and they can't, he could the running back couldn't get outside of the the box and so it helped the linebackers make the tackle. He did his job. He did his job. If it was 36, it'd be Denzel. So now that Strickland taking off. He's under pressure. Yes, Dalton has sacked him. Number, oh, boy, we got a flag here. Number three, Jeff Son locked. He was falling about the same time Jeff Son hit him. But we got, call, a, we got I a, think they're going to call face mask. We got a flag here. Did you say face mask? I think, think that's what they're going to call. Here is the call. Personal foul, face mask against the big red. I think as he was falling and we were trying to tackle him, Unfortunately, we got because he was already down by the time we touched him. To be honest, his knee was on the ground. Mm -hmm, right. Um, but bad luck, Dalton. Bad luck right there. That's just honestly, that's just bad luck because you're making the play. But I, I was going to say we had a spy. Adriel was spying the quarterback, and that's why he couldn't run, and therefore he had to stay in the pocket longer than he wanted to. So Dalton's making the adjustments. We just got to make sure that we can play cleaner football. And that's just unfortunate. That was an unfortunate play, honestly. That was no intention. No. He's no. going down, and his hand happened to go there, and the official saw it. That's going to move the ball down to Dalton's 34 as number seven, Jamarian Watley. And they don't need any more help. I can no, tell you that. Absolutely not. Watley gained about four, so it's second and six now at the Dalton 30. Big Red had him a fantastic play there as the quarterback was going down about the same time Jeff Son showed up. Life was looking good, and then the face mask comes out. We got Watley again, and much, much better job on that Dalton defense as number three, Jeffson, number nine, Staten, five, Kendricks, London. Yeah, I mean, you've got to set the edge no matter how wide it is and make sure that they don't get outside of that. Nine's Calum, right? Nine is, Cal or nine is Cameron. No, yes, nine is Cameron. Ten is Calum. I was doing. I usually have trouble. With I that. was doing so well last week. And I, I might just, have trouble if I didn't have Cameron in class, but I have Cameron in class. I was just fixing to brag on myself for getting these names. For getting these. Uh, this is a down that Hiram right. wants to be in. Third um, and three, as Strickland is uh, scrambling around. Dalt. Ooh, if we could have took him down. Uh -oh. oh wow! You just see uh -oh. his elusiveness. Uh oh. Strickland is going to pick up a first down as he literally ran for 64 yards but only gained enough to get to move the chains. He ran literally all over the field. Again, unlucky. Dalton's there to make the play and just can't make the play. I mean, you remember tw twice. He get, breaks two tackles and just gets outside, and he's, he's elusive. He reminds me of a pinball. Yeah. Have you ever, you know, played the machines when you were a little young growing up pinball machines? That little thing's going around everywhere, bouncing off bouncing off everything, and that's exactly what he does. He is more than just elusive. Number three, once again. God, they're quick. You're getting them down. They're very, very there's shifty. There's the word. Shifty, elusive, shifty. hard to tackle. Caden Hamilton. But for me, I think, for me, our defense is performing better now yes. than their defense. Yes, I agree. Um, so I think we get stops. We had two already that could have been stops, and we just had some unluck. Uh, you got to make the tackle when they're when it's there. Second and about one. 
from looks like about the eight yard line. You'd think we'd get, I mean, they're not in the that double wing T formation, but no. it's kind of the same concept. Hamilton again with the ball. And that's going to be a first and goal for Hiram. Dalton's got to stand up. The field gets smaller. Um, our middle is, again, you've got to maintain your gap integrity. I don't know what exactly they're, I'm trying to follow the middle a little bit more just to see kind of are we getting out of position or are they pushing and it's out of position. Uh, because of all the misdirection, it's hard to tell. First and goal from the Dalton five. Number nine. Since they got used to one number, they'll give it to another one. Number nine, Amari Lindley on that carry. We got an injured Hornet, or he's just late getting up. No, we've got an injured Hornet on the play. We have 24 seconds left to go in the first quarter. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Why should you choose OptiLink Internet? When I work from home, I need fast, reliable internet. OptiLink provides that with no hidden fees. Our customers depend on us for great service and quality. And that's why we chose OptiLink Internet. As we serve the needs of our clients, we need reliable internet service. That's why I chose OptiLink as my hometown provider. Some people say you can't get fast internet. I say, oh yes, you can with OptiLink. Experience the difference. Call today. The 22 football season is here and we are fired up for our area teams. And Cherokee Pizza is the best place to start or finish the game. Come here for the pizza, the beverages, or the arcade, baby. Good luck teams and go dogs! Woo! Welcome to Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Our 250,000 square foot showroom is filled with every kind of indoor and outdoor furniture imaginable, ready to take home today, along with a huge selection of custom cabinets, appliances, lighting, and accessories. Need flooring? We have that too. Shop our massive selection of in-stock carpet, hardwood, LVT, ceramic tile, and area rugs. Take advantage of our free design consultation to make your home look its best. Visit us today at Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Your destination for Right back here with you at Harmon Field. Injured Hornet appears to be okay, which is always good news. Second and goal from about the Dalton four. Pass out here to receiver number 10. Is that not the big six, seven tight end? It is. Walter and Matthews. And you've got, but five, nine, Adrian Gangora on him. And that's only if he grew five, from last week. Five, 10, Adrian Gangora. I mean, he might be mad at me for saying he's five, 10, but well, it makes it sound better. <laughs> he was giving up nine, 10 inches, and uh, pass was incomplete. Third and goal. Great job by Adrian. He was telling me he was excited about tonight because he gets to play to a start. lot more because, yeah. you know, Andy, unfortunately, can't go tonight, so he's getting to play, and he's excited. Look, I mean, just look at them lined up. Look at the size difference. Yeah, they that were tells you how good Adrian did on that play. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh. Blindside is, is that going to think a call the blind side on uh, Bannon? Uh, you think that's what that is? Him, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, not on him, but against him. Yeah, I think that's what they're looking at. But, but I tell you, he was. Uh, hmm. He's hard to get down, so they got to make sure they get around his waist and get him to the ground. I don't like the way Kendricks is holding his hands. I'm hoping this is not against Dalton. It shouldn't be. Okay. Waving the flag off. There is no penalty flag on the flag. Okay, so after all of that, fourth down. Ha even if they get the field goal, That's a this win. is a win for that Dalton defense. My folks, I, if you're here in person, you can see the size advantage for Hiram. They're like the NFL. They are absolutely huge. Dalton done a fantastic job on that defensive series as we are heading to the second quarter, 14 to seven. Dalton with a touchdown lead. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. 
Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Hiram getting ready for a, uh, a chip shot. 27 yards. Yeah, he could hit this with the wrong foot and still get it. This guy's got a leg. Did he miss? Well, it wasn't because of distance. He missed it wide left. Man, what a job for that Dalton High School defense. Now you got to capitalize on all that. That is fantastic. Now you got to capitalize. That's a great job. Uh, but he's got the leg. Oh, my gosh. During the timeout, Dalton High School recognized Kenneth Escobar as being a state champ in the shot put and discus from last year's track team. Congratulations, hats off, way to go, Kenneth Escobar. Fantastic job. Escobar is a senior this year, so maybe he will be a back-to-back -back or a two-time state champ. Best of luck and best of wishes to him as he has done a fantastic job for our track team here at Dalton. Catamounts, first and 10 from their own 20 as Ethan's got three receivers to the top. Kendrick's London in single coverage to the bottom. Bubba Tanner going in motion. Adriel Hernandez beside Ethan. Ethan with the ball. Going to throw one out here to number one, Bubba Tanner. Bubba's got great moves of his own. Bubba's going to be took out around the 40. No flags. You better believe it. First down, Dalton. That's a great job. That's a, they're adjusting. So they got three down linemen. They've had four. Trying to bring in another back to, to help, I think, with the run on the edge. Uh, they had that linebacker creep up on the outside. And Peyton Starling did a great job as, right, as left tackle, uh, making the block. Now they're going four down. I am so happy with Dalton's offensive line, giving Ethan time to uh, make his reads, time to look for that open receiver. As on this play, we have three receivers to the top. Adriel is the lone back beside Ethan. Ethan's going to pitch it back to Adriel. Adriel's going around the end, and Adriel's not going to have any success as number 12. Or it's a single digit. Was it three or eight? Oh, I thought it was 12. Am I looking at the wrong guy? I think so. I think it was number 12. Evidently so. Okay, somebody on Hiram's defense made that play. That's Number him. 12, Anthony Pittman. Yeah, that's him winning his assignment. We're doing a good job of blocking downfield, and unfortunately somebody missed a block, and Adriel didn't have much uh, room to run. On that pass a minute ago, the layers that Coach Long has created was really good because you had two receivers in the same kind of vicinity creating the layers. So we got to – Pass by Ethan to Bannon. Ethan's Bailing. got Bannon on this one, and Bannon's going to be took down around the 44 or 45 yard line. It's a great second down. Call. It was. Bannon picked up a lot of yardage from the uh, first loss there. Yeah, the 45 yard line, so that's going to be third and five. Dalton needs to get it to midfield. And if you've seen this uh, Hiram offense, you know they can move the ball from wherever they are. Yeah, you Thankfully, wanna... our defense did a great job, Curtis, and kept them from scoring on that last drive. Yeah, that's why this has to be a win for the offense because they can score in bunches. We saw that last year. You better take advantage of uh, something like this. Come on, Adriel. Come on, Adriel. Turn that corner. Get, turn up upfield, upfield, upfield. Adriel's got the first down. Great job. No flags. First down, Dalton. Yes. Great job by Adriel. Had the, the, the strong side of the field, plenty of room to run, and Made the play, got around the edge, and got the first down. Knew exactly what he needed to do to get the first down. You know, as much as Dalton goes out on the perimeter, I am still surprised that Hiram's corners, safeties, outside linebackers, yeah. are not coming up to take away uh, those runs out there on the end. They're, they're just not they're not coming up, and that's allowing us to have some success moving the ball. It just surprises me oh, with the speed open. they have. Ethan's throwing one out here to Kendricks, London. Kenny has got it at the touch. Down, Dalton High School. Yeah, baby. Woo! Touchdown, Dalton. Boy, I love watching Coach Long's offense right now. It was, yeah, I just saw it open. It like opened up. Coach the, Long the, is carving up this Hiram defense. The play call was perfect. The throw was perfect. The catch was perfect. Blocking up front. That's the way you score, score points. And Dalton's been doing it all year. Last week, 
We'd have been playing like this last week. We're yes. five and zero. Oh. I mean, I know that's ifs and buts now, but yeah, I mean, I'm just we, saying this Dalton football team is legit. Like I said last week, I think you've got a testament to, to Cedar Town. They kept us off balance, but tonight we're back to Dalton. Adrian Gangora with a PAT. It's up and good. Twenty-one to seven, the Big Red. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Every community has its challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education, basic needs, and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And Linda United. We can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. Right back with you here at Harmon Field as uh, on the break, Curtis and I was discussing this Dalton football team this year. Uh, these receivers are doing a fantastic job. Ethan Long is putting it right on the money tonight. The offensive line is uh, more, more than holding their own against a gargantuan defensive line for Hiram. Gungora with the kick. This one's gonna be going down to number 20. I'm afraid to say now, is it 25? I missed that number a while ago. Uh-oh, come on, take him down, take him down, take him down. And the 25, uh, number 25, Isaiah Swan. Yeah, we're trying to figure out our kicking, obviously. We tried the first kick and it went out of bounds, just barely. Second kick, our little squib, they didn't get us very good. And then this kick, they got another good return. So Dalton's trying to figure out the kicking game right now. But defensively, we got the stop and offense answered which is what you have to have. You, got, you can never score enough. We needed that two touchdown lead. Yes. Because this offense will light up the scoreboard. All right, Hiram's going to start out on their own 36 yard line where of course they have it first and 10. Number three, Hamilton going out in motion, pitch back to Hamilton. Hamilton has got a lot more than what we want to see. He's still going. Hamilton is down to the Dalton 45. I see no flags on the field. That's going to move the chains first down for Hiram. Yeah, that big play, the edge, the, our defensive back fell down. But one thing I do want to say is you see Jeff Son Lott making that tackle. Mm -hmm. That's a defensive lineman. He's yes. going downfield. That just shows you that nothing's to chance. You've got to continue to maintain the aggression and continue to, to chase down and pursue because you may be the one to make the tackle and great job by Jeffson doing that. Jeffson is a chiseled defensive I'm lineman. Okay. <laughs> Rough. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. At coldwellbanker.com, you can get an instant estimate on your home, compare cost of living city by city, and learn more about our revolutionary seller's assurance program. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. 54 years, how do we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and help so many people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Right back with you here at Harmon Field. 944 left to go here in the second quarter. Hiram's got the ball, first and 10 from the Dalton 46. Strickland back to throw, man, he's got time. He's gonna, and he's got an open, we got, we got a flag. This is probably coming back. I'm not gonna get all tore up here, but uh, Got a feeling this is going to be coming back. As that was a good, pretty good tackle by Bubba Tanner. Yeah, but, I wonder uh, what it, uh, it looks like he might have been beyond the line of scrimmage. Well, that'd be nice. That'd be a loss of down, too, in addition to the yardage. Let's see. Or an ineligible. No, I'm not greedy. I'll take either one. Ineligible Inel man. Good call, Curtis. Ineligible man downfield against the Hornets. It's one of those, as a lineman, you just kind of you see your running back, your quarterback scramble, so you go to block and he throws it and you kind of get lost in the shuffle. Mm -hmm. Hey, you I know, will takes, say great recognition from the official on that. It takes a lot of discipline uh, on their linemen to not be called for that more yes. as much as they've got going on behind the line of scrimmage like juking and jiving. 
Yeah. So I mean, hats I, off to their linemen. Dalton has not played a, for me, a true really throwing quarterback. They've played a lot of running quarterbacks. They're getting the whole package tonight as they'll throw it, run it, and everything else. That's that big tight end, 6'7", 240-pound Walter Matthews. Matthews picks up about six. It's going to be second down and about nine. I think Adrian would like to have that back. He comes up to make the tackle and just kind of the kid slipped out of his grasp on him. So I think Adrian would like to have that back. I bet Matthews has slipped out of a lot of people's grasp. He, he's <laughs> he probably pretty good. I mean, he looks pretty good. He is a strong young man. Can play some basketball, too. Strickland from the pocket. Going to throw it out here to Matthews again. Great job. Number 20, Adrian Gungora. And assist by number 36, Denzel Vasquez. Great job, Dalton. He got his chance, and he didn't He didn't allow him to get on. He went to the waist that time and not the leg. He's a big guy, so you're obviously trying to get him down. And Oh, geez. That's not an easy task. I wouldn't want to do it. You know, I bet a lot of teams look up to him. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ladarian, you're never short of the one-liners. Third and eight from the Dalton 44. To come on, Dalton, if we can get these guys stopped here. The, oh, 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 great read by the quarterback. Come on, take him down. Yes! Yes! Great job, Striker Woods! Woo! Great job on that Dalton D. It's fourth down. If Striker don't make that play, he's got plenty of room to run. Um, and don't forget, that's a two-way lineman, offense and defense. Him and Peyton's mentioned every single week. Yeah. Man, that was pretty. So now Dalton gets to field a punt. Make sure we... Watch out. I'd do a punt safe. This I'd is punt formation, ain't it? Yeah. It's been a while since we saw this. I'd want to make sure they kick this ball. I wouldn't worry about a big return, personally. Punters probably don't get much work this year. No, I don't I, think their punters got a lot of work. That's for sure. They probably have to tell him where to they, stand. They've scored a lot of points. Yes, they have. In just a minute, we're going to give you the scores of uh, Hiram's games leading up to tonight. Hiram opened up with Paulding County. They beat Paulding County 45 to nothing. Then they beat Woodstock 38 to 14. Curtis, they had a nail biter in week three against East Paulding as they won that game 52 to 49. Basketball game broke out in that one. Against Morrow, they won 48 to nothing. And against Drew last week, they won 43 to six. So uh, their offense and the end zone are the best of friends. But I, I, they haven't played a, a defense no. like Dalton. I mean, no. Dalton, is, no. they've legitimately got a good defense. The only thing last week that really hurt them was there were some deep turnovers that was Self, hard to overcome. Self-inflicted stuff. Adriel Hernandez with the ball. Adriel has got a great run. Adriel has shown his strength as number 49 for Hiram is Davion Jackson. He was a lot bigger than Adriel, and Adriel kind of gave him a ride for two to three yards. Yeah, I mean, Adriel's just kind of jumping through the hole, shifting. I mean, he's a hard back to take down, and love to watch him run. Again, we've got a stable of running backs and had it, Dalton. Um, well, again, going back to Coach Long, he's just doing a fantastic job with all of these skilled guys he's got, get, getting them action, yeah. knowing where and when to use them, and that doesn't come overnight. It takes a while to get good at that. Bubba Tanner on this one. Uh -oh. Bubba has fumbled. Ball on it. Oh, my goodness. Hiram has got the ball around the Dalton 23. Well, shoot. Hiram is going to take over at the Dalton, okay, the 24, as we have coughed it up. 6.44 left to go here in the second quarter. Dalton has their first turnover of the evening. Speaking of clean football, I mean, I know Bubba's, he's probably madder than anybody on right. that field right now. Right. Which means he's probably going to run angry, so I wouldn't, I, I still want to get him the football. But he'd definitely like to have that back. A little loose with it. Unfortunately, a hand comes in, knocks it out, and it kind of just lay, laid there. Nobody knew it was there except Hiram for a second. You know, uh, the stand that Dalton's defense came up with a while ago, that should give them that defense some confidence to know, hey, we can stop these guys. Yeah, I mean, our defense, two series in a row. So Hamilton with the ball. Hamilton's going out on the end, and he's getting way too much as he's going to be down around the 10 yard line. That's easily enough to move the chains. First down for Hiram. Yeah, that was a big play right there. Your defense is coming off, you get a stop, you think you have a mental break and you're coming right back in the game. 
that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes, and you just got to kind of try to hold it together and do the best you can. First and goal, Hiram from the 10, as we have got number five, six, it's a touchdown, number six, Deshaun Williams. Uh, well, we gifted them six, but hey, they still scored. So, you know, it's over, let it go. It is what it is. Yeah, you, you, you're, your defense is still playing really well. Absolutely. It's hard to stop that team going 80 yards, much less 24. Absolutely. But um, now you've got to make sure you answer on offense because they're going to score. They are going to score. We just got to make sure we play clean football. Can't give them any more uh, breaks. We've got to create a couple ourselves, to be honest. We need all the, we need to be the beneficiary of everything tonight, as this is our region opener. That extra point hit the scoreboard. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Taylor Industrial Sales after our service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! Hey football fans, I'm Chris and this is my dad Charles. Here at Transformers, we believe in no gimmicks, just affordable pricing and quality repairs. Come see us at Dalton, Cartersville, or check us out online at transformerstransmission.com. Here we are back at Harmon Field. Hiram has just scored their second touchdown of the evening. Dalton 21, Hiram 14. Dalton drops back as usual. Number two, Adriel Hernandez. Number one, Bubba Tanner. Both those guys are on their own five yard line. Uh, if he gets his leg into it, this one will be going down to uh, probably Miller Street. Yeah, I think those are the, 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 the if customers the, in the stands might want to pay attention. If the wind catches, it may go down to the post office. Okay, this one, as soon as I say that, is going to be a touchback about seven yards into the end zone where Dalton will come out first and 10 from their own 20. 6.18 left to go here in the second quarter. Well, Curtis, uh, mentally, we got to put that behind us yep. and get focused again, do what we were doing before, you know, we fumbled. I mean, you're moving the football. Yes, um, at will. At will, you're, you're doing what you want to do on offense. Don't tighten up now. <laughs> <clears throat> one mistake doesn't make a half, so no, no. we're going to expect them to make one or two themselves. So we just keep playing. You answer uh, with a touchdown here, even a field goal, and that's a win. Ethan with uh, Adriel in the backfield, three receivers at the bottom, none to the top. Ethan's going to throw it out here to R.J. Story. R.J. is going to gain about three or four after forward progress. He was tackled immediately by number 22 which is Darius Harris. It's four yards. You look at it and it's like, man, that wasn't very far. And then it's four yards. That's a pretty decent run or three yards. Yeah, they're giving him three. So second and seven from about the 23 yard line. And I think that's Dalton trying to take advantage. Like you were talking about their defensive backs are playing way off the football, but it just takes so long for the ball to get there. Right. Adriel on the carry. Adriel's not going to have a whole lot of success. As forward progress, he might have got to about the 25. It's going to be third and about five as several Hornets was there to uh, see how he was doing. Yeah, this is this is where you've got to make sure on offense. You, we, we need, need to, this conversion. We got to convert this. We really do. We don't. Uh, we need to give our defense a little bit of time to get their get their breath back. Dalton with three receivers at the top. Adriel in the backfield with Ethan. 
course, I'll say a lot of our defense is on the field right now. That's true. It's, we're playing both ways, right. All right, Ethan, looking for somebody to get open. Ethan is going to throw one out here. He's open. R.J. Story. Yes. Great yes, R.J. Story. Clutch catch on third down. Move the chains, baby. It's first down, Dalton. Great throw by Ethan. Ethan actually had a little space. He probably could have picked up the first down, but saw the mismatch on R.J. And R.J. is just an athlete. Oh, my goodness. And made a great catch. I was hoping that the ball would get out there enough where it wouldn't get batted away, and luckily it did. That's what we needed. We had to have an answer. We want to keep them off the field. Our best defense is our offense. That is a way to get it in the clutch when you've got to have it. And Dalton has made it happen once again. Big red down to the Hiram 38-yard line, where, of course, it's first and 10. Again, great offensive play calling by Coach Long here as this offense is moving. Adriel with the ball. Adriel cuts up and has got some uh, room. we got a flag. Oh, geez. It's usually in the holding. Yeah, we got a flag. I was about to say how he's patient and kind of was waiting on his block, but I think his block had a little too much. We've got a hold against Dalton. Curtis, you nailed it. That's usually, if you see the one, the flag mm -hmm. go in the middle of the field, right at the line, that's usually a holding. It's either that or hands to the face. Hands to the face for the, the defense is we'd take that all day. Well, Dalton will have it first and about 20. From their own 48, we got to get down to the 28. You want to make sure that you don't. Um, what, what does what does that mean? Looks right like there? he's communicating with the line judge on the other side. Um, you don't have to get it all back at once. No, know, no. Five yards here, ten yards there, and you're back in it. But you do short. need to get some on this. Adriel with the ball. Adriel has got a good game. Adriel is going to get about that original 10 we just lost. Yep. So it's going to be second and 10 as Adriel is right at the 38. So there we go. That's a good play. I mean, Dalton's, that's Dalton's known for, right? Power football. Yes. Right up the middle. Great blocking on the line. And, and Adriel just done his job. But look at the size difference of Hiram's defensive line. And our offensive line is still more than holding their own. Yeah, you win your blocks. Come on, Adriel. Come on, Adriel. Turn that corner, baby. Come on. Great move, Adriel. Did you see him high step? Great job. No flags. First down, Dalton. Move the chains. Special. We saw that a couple years ago by a young man named Jameer Gibbs. Who? But Jameer Gibbs playing for the Lions. Did he, play huh? here, did he play here at Dalton? Yeah, we saw that last year <laughs> with Tyson Greenway. And, and Adriel's just continuing the tradition. The, the tradition. Just passed the baton on down. The tradition continues. He is having a phenomenal game tonight. Oh, we got several guys having a great game. All right, first and 10, Dalton from the higher and 15. We've got a timeout on the field, timeout on Dalton. We'll be right back to Herman Field. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. Purchase a new Ford vehicle from us, you'll be getting more than a great vehicle. We offer an exclusive 10-year warranty on all new Ford vehicles. Best selection we've had in years. 975 exit 336 or FordofDalton.com. Go, Catamounts! challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education, basic needs, and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And Linda United. We can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. Right back with you here from Harmon Field. First and 10, Dalton from the Hiram 15. Ethan with two receivers at the bottom, three at the top, empty backfield. Ethan's going to roll out of the pocket and throw it out here. Great job on footwork by R.J. Story. He catches it and looks at the feet, gets them in bounds. The pass is going to cover about four, four and a half yards. I don't like how R.J.'s kind of. He, 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 he got took a head over he here. He took a nasty shot. I saw him kind of uh, walking a little gingerly. Yeah, we can't afford to lose another. Mm -mm. No, no, no. 
especially somebody of the RJ's caliber. We get any more of our guys hurt, we're going to start having practices at Hamilton Medical. How's that steak, Ladarian? Second and six. Adro with the ball. Uh, Not going to get much. Yeah, he, he tried to get that line, and the hole just kind of didn't open up for him. Let that clock run. It's okay. Let that clock tick. Clock is down to 3.08 right before halftime. Let that clock. I'd like to, I mean, obviously they want to score, but I'd like to score with about less than a minute left, to be honest. I just want to score. I want to score, <laughs> no doubt. Well, we're halfway there. It's third and five. But as you've said many times, the field gets so much smaller down here. Decisions have to make be quicker. The uh -huh. windows are tighter. Ethan with the ball. Going to throw it to, oh, what a great job on the DB for uh, Hiram as he got his hands in there just in time. Number 26 for the Hornets, Jason. Last name is G-Y-E-B-I. So this Ga is a decision Gabby, right now. I guess. Fourth for down. Coach Carpenter, big decision right here. Do you take three if you can get it, or do you go for the conversion? I know what I do. I'm going to attempt the three. I would, but if, if it was fourth has been and very one, confident on our – yeah. Uh, I think we're going to take a timeout. I've been watching the warm-ups, and Manny Munoz has got an impressive leg himself. Timeout, Dalton. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Mm. 54 years. How did we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Taylor Industrial Sales after hours service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. Back here with you at Harmon Field as Dalton's getting ready to attempt a 27-yard field goal. Adrian Gongora, Asher Renfro, your holder, kick is up. Kick looks good. 24 to 14, Dalton. 2:36 left to go here before halftime. You know, there for a while we were a little shaky with our kicking game. I think Adrian kind of got in his own head a little bit. Yeah. Because he can kick the football. Oh my goodness. But it's good to see the confidence. It, it takes one, just a good strike and get in your head that you can make this field goal, and he made a really good kick on that one. I tell you, I'm really becoming more and more and more impressed with his punting ability. He hit some during warm-ups that still hadn't landed. He uh, he can get them caught, and I'm telling you, he can get them caught in jet stream, well, and they are gone. He just, he's got a leg on him. The good news is, is we haven't had to see him punt. Um, so, well, you're the one talking about I know it. that, but I didn't say he's not punting tonight. <laughs> I just well, said during warm-ups. Everybody punts during warm-ups. <laughs> Let's hope here we can get us a good kick uh, and keep them from having really good field position. 236 doesn't really sit in their favor since they're not necessarily a throwing team, but they can get chunk yardage. So oh, geez. Can they ever? They have two timeouts left or three? Three timeouts left. Yeah, we're down to none. They got all three. Adrian kicking off, and that will be returned. Good job. No, it's going to go into the – End zone, we're going to be 20-yard line. So that's better than giving it to him on the 35 or the 40. A little long, I mean, again, some luck there, and that ball stops at the one, and, man, they're in trouble. But it kind of trickles into the end zone, and they get it at the 20. I'll take it. I bet if it I'll stops it. at the one, those guys look at each other and say, perhaps we should have caught that. Perhaps we should have done something. <laughs> that was you. No, that was you. Coach, it was him, I tell you. I wanted it, but no, no, he wouldn't let me have it. He said he's going to bring it back. That was a great kick by Adrian going uh, over the head. Let him run the laps. They weren't expecting him to kick it that far, and I know Adrian's got a leg, so we're kind of used to seeing the, the, the kicker that Hiram has. We're kind of used to seeing that Exactly, and, we, and you get spoiled for and, that. And you it really takes do. some time to develop it, and I think we've got a young man that's in that development yeah. stage. I'm still waiting until I can get it down to the goal line. Oh, we got a false start for Yes, sure. we do. That's going to be five yards against the Hornets. We'll make it first and 15 from the 15, so uh, yeah, I think that back them up a little bit. The whole offensive line kind of started. I don't know if the center was a little off on his cadence or what. Yeah, somebody didn't get a memo. That helps. 
74 for them on the line uh, left tackle. Yeah. Jeez. That's a, that's a Jeez. I mean, look, number 10 is, would you say 6'7"? 6'10", 6'7". So he's 6'6", 6'5", 6'6". My goodness. Probably weighs oh, 280, 290. Oh, every bit of it. And Four. carries it well. Man, he's a mountain of a man. Got we got a penalty procedure. against the Hornets. Let's back them up five more. Five yeah. more. It's going to be first and 20. Dab, going back to the 10-yard line two more times, we might be able to get a safety out of this. <laughs> if they work that way. Then they start cutting it in half. And, you know, isn't there, isn't there a theory that you can never quite make it to the point because right, you just Deb cut it in half? All right, Debbie Downer. <laughs> <laughs> they just keep doing it. We just keep, keep lower and lower. Six more times. We're back there. <laughs> I'd like to see that clock run out. Because, remember, they get the ball starting the second half. So, Number seven. I used to remember his name. Seven is... Jamari and Watley. I think they were just happy to get it off without a flag. Yeah, and I think they're probably going to, I mean, they're obviously going to score if they can, but you want to also make sure you don't get it, A, get it back to Dalton, All right. and B, you don't do anything that's going to hurt your team. Mm -hmm. you're, you're only down 10. Right. You can score in bunches. You get the ball back coming in the half. So I, maybe they're going to be a little conservative here, I assume. Second and 17 for the Hornets from their own 13. Watley again going in motion. Strickland with the ball, going to throw it out here. Great job by number one, Bubba Tanner. Deflected a little bit. He jumps just a tad later. Mm -hmm. He's got a pick. And you know you know he wanted it. Ooh. You know he wanted it so bad. If he could turn back time. Now that's a win. Now it's third and 17, 153. But on a team like this, when it's third and forever, be careful. It, you do, but Be again, careful. if they throw a pass, it's incomplete. You're getting the ball back to exactly. midfield with a minute and 45. And with a little luck, bad snap. I mean, bad. Yeah, you never know on I that. Mean, but you're, going, you're going to dream, dream big. Question is on defense: Do you send the house or do you? Strickland going to throw it out here to number one. Good job, that RJ. was great coverage by number 13, RJ Story. Number five, Kendricks London. That's going to be a fourth down. Hornet, the Hornets are going to be forced to punt from deep inside their own territory from their uh, end zone. So that's where, you, you, as a coach, you want to score, but now you're giving it back to Dalton with really good field position and plenty of time to score in. And Dalton has moved the ball all night long on offense. I mean, yeah, passing the ball, running the ball. Bubba Tanner around his around the midfield. There's the punt. It's a good, that's a, a good coverage kick. Number one, Bubba good. Tanner. Bubba is going, Bubba's down to the 40, the 37, 38. Dalton will have fantastic field position at, their, at the uh, Hiram 38 yard line. 136 left to go before halftime. The Big Red is up by 10, thanks to an Adrian Gangora field goal. Yeah, that's why you take the points, right? Curtis, I, mean, I am more than happy with this Dalton defense, offense, specialty teams, cheerleaders, band. I mean, you had one hiccup. One hiccup and you're actually up 24-7. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm, exactly. I'm, I think that I think the coaching staff, the players, but you can't come. You can't rest on your laurels. It's one no. half of football. No, 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 no. Winning the first half don't mean nothing if you don't win the second. Ethan with three receivers at the top, going to fake it to Adriel. Ethan's going to step up in the pocket. A face mask. Did you see the way his head turned around? Is that not it. a we face? We got to go. Doesn't matter. They didn't call it. My goodness. It looked I like he got his shoulder pad. They could have called Did a horse it? collar, but. Um, anyway, they got to go. Okay. 121 left. You've got time, but we've got to make sure we, we're moving. I was going to run in on the field and sell the face mask, but maybe not. Second and 12. Ethan's going to hand this one off to Adriel. Adriel's got a few Hornets waiting on him as he's going to be took down right about the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down. One minute left to go before halftime. Yeah, I think offensively <laughs> – Let's see what happens. Let's see what we do here. You don't want to give them back the ball too no, much time. No, I'd but, like to take a little bit more time off this But you definitely court. want to score if you can. You had really right. good field position. Yeah. You don't have to snap it, you know, just, just yet. Take some time off. You got well, you got a week left on that play clock. Yeah, I think now, though, if you're going to have any time to actually mm -hmm. score, you're going to have to do it now. Ethan rolling out. He's going to throw one out here intended for Jeff oh, Sondlock. Oh, we got we, this might be interference on number 21 as we have got a flag on the field. That's, there was a bump there. 
I didn't know if it was enough to interfere with the catch. But, hey, they uh, called it. it. It's interference. So. Yeah, they threw it. It could have called holding on it. But of Number course, the ball's in the air. It's interference. 21's Antoine Small. Pass interference against Hiram's defense. Is that a 15-yarder in high school, I think? Or is that 10? Well, uh, yes. We know. Well, it's not necessarily an automatic first down. Uh-uh. But if it's 10, we got a first down. 15-yarder. Okay, that's going to be a first down. All right, you got 28 seconds. you got to. First down. And you have zero timeout, so you've got to make right. sure you are efficient here. If you're not going to put an end zone, get out of bounds. Get yeah. out of bounds. Taking a sack, you got to make sure you get up on the ball. Like, right. I'm sure Coach Carpenter has practiced this many a time. 20, this is one of those. 23-yard line, I believe, where it's first and 10, thanks to that interference call. Dalton with three receivers at the bottom, none to the top. Adriel is always in the backfield with Ethan. Ethan's going to step up in the pocket. Ethan's going to go to the end zone oh, with this wow. one. And but, another one. That, yes, sir. Yep. Now, that, that one was. That one was. Yeah, and I think yeah. Bubba catches it if he don't interfere with him, to be honest. Don't, don't say a word. Just keep walking. Number 21, again, in the uh, secondary for Hiram. Number 21, Antoine Small. Well, that's two in a row. And I'm sure the coaches are going to have some uh, intense fellowship with these guys at halftime for that. Yeah, I mean, that this is the mistakes that Hiram's made. Dalton made their mistakes, right. but Hiram's made their mistakes. So. And we made these last week, too. Well, they did. I mean, we didn't. Right. <laughs> this is their mistakes. Yeah. We made ours. Let's hope it's just the only one. Dalton, but you, you want to be efficient here. Right. Dalton down to the 13, where it's first and 10. 22 seconds left to go before the half. Big red up by 10, 24 to 14. Two receivers top, two to the bottom. Adriel in the backfield with Ethan. Ethan with the ball. Ethan's being pressured. Oh. Woo mercy, 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 mercy. 26 flirted with a pick. Yes, he did. And he might have taken it all the way to the house, too. So. Jason Gabby. Ethan had some pressure and didn't see 26 kind of lingering over the middle there. Yeah, he was stalking. 17.9 uh, seconds left to go. You got enough time, I think, for two more plays mm -hmm. before a field goal attempt. You do. Hiram's helped Dalton a lot, this possession. You know, you would think if you're not – if you, don't, if you don't follow football a lot, you would think that play calling and stuff like that would get easy when you get closer to the goal line. Just the opposite. It gets yeah. tougher because the field gets smaller. Ethan's thrown a beautiful pass out here to Bubba. Oh, Ooh, Bubba had it, and it came out at the midnight hour. Oh, my goodness, Bubba had it. 13 seconds, third down. Oh, we can smell the six that that would have been. Yeah, he had it. Great mm. throw by Ethan, and Boy. Bubba just could have brought it in to him. Ethan threw a perfect spiral in there, and uh, – To no avail. At least it stops the clock. Again, you just keep going. Next play mentality. Dalton's got to hurry, though. Curtis, are they you sure surprised that Hiram hasn't used any of their timeouts? A little bit, but right now you're Dalton's at 11 seconds. You don't want to bail Dalton out, so they've got to hurry. We got Nash Smith in as receiver to the top, three to the bottom. Four, Again, three. Adriel in the backfield with Ethan. Ethan's rolling out from the shotgun, uh, right out of the pocket. Ethan no. slides down the middle of the field, that and was not a good we decision. have no time. Oh, my goodness. There's no way they can pull this off. Nope. Half time. Oh, my goodness. Mm, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Dalton will go into halftime with a 24 to 14 lead on Hiram. Hiram will receive the ball to start the third quarter. We'll be right back with you at the start of the third. 2022 football season's here, and the Oakwood Cafe is ready to serve you pancakes as big as your head. Come on down on Saturday morning after the big game and eat a plate full of hash browns till your belly starts aching. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at Walnut Hill Farm. Woo! Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! 
Metro Bank's Jenna Pye. Please welcome to the field for your halftime entertainment, the 2023 edition of the Dalton High School Catamount Marching Band. Tonight, the band invites you to join us on a journey of sight and sound aboard the Catamount Express. Our first stop is in New York for the Duke Ellington Classic Take the A Train. We bring things a little closer to home for our next stop at the Chattanooga Choo Choo, made famous by Glenn Miller. Our next leg brings us back to Georgia with Gladys Knight's Blues Classic, Midnight Train to Georgia. Our journey continues with a percussion feature, Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train. And we bring our trip back into the station with the Doobie Brothers, Long Train Running, and closing with a longtime Dalton band favorite, Casey Jones. Feature performers include saxophone quartet by Tony Zamora, Jasmine Nunez, Andre Goodlett, and Andrew Steve. Trumpet soloist Christopher Lopez Viatoro and trombone soloist Michael Edung. Our conductors for this evening's journey are drum majors Katie Espedia, Angie Arredondo, and Emily Torres. Drum majors, are we ready to board? And now, fans, we invite you to sit back and enjoy the sights and sounds as you journey along with the Catamount Band on the 2023 Catamount Express. All aboard!
school Catamount Marching Band. Band staff includes assistant directors Mike Schultz, I'm sorry, Doug Schultz and Mike Radowski. Percussion instructor Ron Waters. Guard coordinators Amber Dean and Anna Sasada. We hope you've enjoyed this evening. As you exit the Catamount Express, be sure to watch your step and thank our 2023 corporate sponsors, Weems Engineering, Water and Jones, Engineered Floors, EBC Transport, Benny Water, A to Z Mobile Blasting, Bright Pediatrics, Precise Inspections, and Southern Customs. We wish the Catamount Band the best of luck tomorrow as they travel to Chester T High School to perform in the Lake Lanier Tournament of Bands. Thank you and good evening. Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go Catamounts! If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. At ColdwellBanker.com you can get an instant estimate on your home, compare cost of living city by city, and learn more about our revolutionary seller's assurance program. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. 2022 football season's here, and the Oakwood Cafe is ready to serve you pancakes as big as your head. Come on down on Saturday morning after the big game and eat a plate full of hash browns till your belly starts aching. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at Walnut Hill Farm. Woo! AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us. And go Big Red. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dalton. Purchase a new Ford vehicle from us, you'll be getting more than a great vehicle. We offer an exclusive 10-year warranty on all new Ford vehicles. Best selection we've had in years. 975 exit 336 or FordofDalton.com. Go Catamounts! Hey Dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know, we can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging. Your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. 
Have you been told it's gonna take three to four weeks to repair your transmission? Hogwash, not here at Transformers Transmission. We've got most of your domestic transmissions in stock and ready to go. All back with a five year, 100,000 mile warranty. Come, Come see, see us. us. community has its challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education, basic needs, and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And Linda United. We can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. Hey folks, Jason Benson, Ford of Dolph. We're proud to be the only President's Award winning dealership in the area. A testament to our dedication to customer satisfaction. We've been voted the top Ford dealer in all of Georgia by Dealerator.com. And remember, Ford is built for America and Ford of Dalton is built for you. The 22 football season is here and we are fired up for our area teams. And Cherokee Pizza is the best place to start or finish the game. Come here for the pizza, the beverages, or the arcade, baby. Good luck teams and go dogs! Woo! Welcome to Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Our 250,000 square foot showroom is filled with every kind of indoor and outdoor furniture imaginable, ready to take home today, along with a huge selection of custom cabinets, appliances, lighting, and accessories. Need flooring? We have that too. Shop our massive selection of in-stock carpet, hardwood, LVT, ceramic tile, and area rugs. Take advantage of our free design consultation to make your home look its best. Visit us today at Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Your destination for Experience the power of the Lynx. OptiLink streaming app VidLink, powered by its fastest internet service, GigLink. Your link to reliable remote access to healthcare. Your link to the best educational opportunities. Your link to our community's only local provider. Your link to the ultimate in entertainment choices and gaming experiences. No interruptions and faster downloads power up your life with the perfect combination of speed and entertainment. VidLink and GigLink. Upgrade today and get the power of the Lynx. Hey folks, Jason Denson, Ford of Dalton, North Georgia's fastest growing dealership and home of the Power Buy. Our new Ford vehicles come with Ford of Dalton's exclusive 10-year, 150,000 mile powertrain warranty at no cost to you. FordofDalton.com. Hope to see you soon. 54 years. How do we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Taylor Industrial Sales After Hours Service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. How much is your home worth? Find out at ColdwellBanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. 
Go Big Red! Dad, look! I found a lost puppy! Well, I'm not lost exactly, but... Hey, are you planting that tree? Wait, where are the flags? The paint? Didn't you contact 811? I've dug here before. It's fine. Contacting 811 to have all underground utilities marked is the law, and it protects us all. Here, let me borrow your cell phone. Dogs don't use cell phones. Humans shouldn't dig before contacting 811. I mean, woof! Online or on the phone, contact 811 at least two business days before any digging project. Brought to you by Georgia 811. Can we keep them? Hey, football fans. I'm Chris, and this is my dad, Charles. Here at Transformers, we believe in no gimmicks, just affordable pricing and quality repairs. Come see us at Dalton, Cartersville, or check us out online at TransformersTransmission.com. Cass Bay, D-Line, sophomore. Preston Cox, D-Line, sophomore. Striker Woods, O-Line, D-Line, senior. Riley Souther, center, senior. Francisco Ortiz, O-Line, D-Line, junior. Eric Frere, O-Line, junior. Michael Wynn, guard, senior. Payne Stalin, junior, O-Line, D-Line. Yair Sosa, linebacker, senior. Denzel Vasquez, outside linebacker, junior. David Rivas, running back, linebacker, senior. Adrian Gongora, athlete, junior. Andy Gutierrez, linebacker, junior. Ethan Long, quarterback, junior. RJ Story, receiver DB, senior. Caleb Staten, junior, linebacker. Cameron Staten, junior, athlete. Ben and Phelan, tight end, senior. Andy Atangana, athlete, senior. Kendrick London, wide receiver, safety, junior. Nash Smith, wide receiver, DB, sophomore. Jess Unlock, tight end and defensive end, senior. Adrian Hernandez, senior, athlete. Bubba Tanner, athlete, senior. <laughs> Welcome back to Harmon Field, Bill Chapel Stadium, where our Catamounts have a 24 to 14 lead heading into this third quarter. Before we can go any further, let's mention our corporate sponsors. Those being Adcock Financial Group, Associates of Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, Bayer Paper Two, Biltwell Bank, Carpets of Dalton, Kaler Industrial Sales, Coel Banker Kennard Realty, Direct Packaging, Duncan Tree Services, Engineered Floors, Fort of Dalton, Jefferson's, Open Late After Home Games, Hamilton Medical Center, Helton Tire, Longhorn Steakhouse, Oakwood Cafe, Peds Care, Transformers, Transmission and Complete Auto Repair, the Dalton Quarterback Club, and Brandon Brown Productions. Getting ready to uh, get this third quarter cranked up. The Big Red leads by 10. Curtis, it is beyond important that uh, Dalton can come out here and set the tone to start this second half because being a region opener, nobody wants to go 0-1 in the region, and Gangora is going to have a very short high kick. And uh, our defense, buddy, we got to be on our heels, ready to play ball. Yeah, I mean, we we had a really good first half, but one half don't make a football game, nope. right? So nope. uh, we held a really high uh, high powered offense to seven points, really. I mean, they got 14. We had one hiccup. So at the end of the day, uh, defense, you like you said, we got to set the tone. We got to come out here. We get to set the tone on defense, and hopefully our offense is still clicking, and we can uh, make something happen. So. You definitely want to set the tone early and try to, you know, continue that momentum as the game ends. Yeah, we only have a 10-point lead, and uh, this is the highest scoring offense in the state of Georgia. They're ranked fifth in 5A as number four, I believe it is, number four for the Hornets, Kendarius Brown is going to take it right up the gut. No flags. Brown picks up about nine. 
So it's going to be second and one right off the bat. Well, I'll say if there's any indication that the coaches got in their hind ends at halftime, our, our, our defensive line was about five yards, six yards down the field by the time the ball was handed off. Hand off again to Brown, and that's a first down. Come on, take him down. He's dragging us. Take out those legs. Take out those legs. Yeah, I think Hiram also was trying to set the tone early. They've done two right. power runs. Not really playing with Dalton right now. We're just hard no trying to get their team into the, the game a little bit. I think Hiram was sweet sleepwalking, expecting them to just come out and score, and Dalton's defense is pretty good. I just hope they don't get woke up in his third quarter. Number uh, great uh, job by Jeff Son. I thought, oh my goodness, what have we got going on here? The man Adriel was teamed up with 59, hit the ground, then a flag came out. So we got a push in the back against Hiram. You got a holding. Oh, was it Hiram? I think it was a holding call. Okay. So you got a loss on first down. I think you might decline this penalty. Well, let's see what Coach Carpenter does. Um, you got a, a sack, so second and 14, or first and 20. All right, decline the penalty. And that was a good job by Jeff Sonlock yes, in the was. backfield, disrupting the timing of that play. He all, Curtis, he almost broke that up. Second and 14 now for the Horn. It says that penalty will move them back to their own 41. And it made my heart feel good to see uh, Kendris London back there making that tackle because I knew man, man on man, Kendris has got the athleticism to oh, stop yes. that running yeah. back. Yeah, you don't want to get in a running match with Kendricks. Second and 14, Hornets from their own 41. Penalty helps Dalton out, definitely. Dalton's doing some late shifting, trying to catch Hiram in some yeah. of the. We've only got a two-man defensive front on this, as we did that a couple of times last year, and it gave the offense some uh, some nightmares. you got Coach Carpenter calling co all kind of stunts right here. Now you got Jeff Son. Oh, 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 hey. oh, he bobbled it and got it back. Jeff, we've just been talking about Jeff Son. Jeff Son back on the tackle, gets in the backfield, makes the stop. Hornets are going to lose some more real estate on this play as it's third down and about 16 or 17. Yeah, Jeff Son Locke is a disruptor when he wants to be. And when he played against Rockmart with his best game of the year, in my opinion, he was just in the backfield at will. And right here, last two possessions, he's been in the backfield at will. Right now, he's whipping wheel across from him. He's going up against that 74. It's a big man, too. My goodness gracious. He's probably not through growing. I mean, Jeff Son's not a, young, a small guy. So. No, no. Strickland back. Going to run out of the pocket. He's going to throw a little dump pass Good. over here. And pass is incomplete. That's a fourth down. No flags. We've got a helmet of Hiram's on the field. 57's helmet's who it was. Well, that, well, that's what we wanted right there, LD. You, you, you talked about the defense stepping up. Set the tone. Setting the tone early, so now offense has to set the tone. We had a chance there at the end of the, of the half to, to really put it on them. They were having success running, and they kind of got away from that, going to the air, and that's where Dalton was able to turn. Woo, we Whoa. come within an eyelash of blocking that is 10. Staten almost on the block, number one, Bubba Tanner. Just get down, Bubba. Juking and jiving, and Bubba is going to be down around his own 27-yard line. <laughs> Number 10, Caleb Staten <laughs> came very close to the block. Did they get that name right? You did. First time for everything. Yeah, he was real close, and Bubba wants to make something happen, but I've, I've seen too much football where you try to make that last little right. bit, and the ball comes running out. So Right. And we do not need any more of that stuff tonight. No, we've got to play clean football because this is a good team. They're, what, 5A, mm -hmm. uh, 5 and – Ranked three. number 5 and 5A. Of course, Dalton has three region opponents all ranked in the top ten with Calhoun and Carswell being the other two in addition to Hiram. Ethan with the ball. Going to hand this one off to Adriel Hernandez. Adriel's looking for some holes, and he Adriel's not going to get a whole lot. He's going to be took down by number 25. Got Isaiah about Swan. Yards. About two yards there. Speaking of Calhoun and Cartersville, we saw the score at halftime. Cartersville's losing 17 to nothing right now. Yeah, a big, uh, big region match in Gordon County as uh, Cartersville is at Calhoun. You got Cass over Woodland right now, 14 to 7. Okay. And then us and uh, Hiram is the others that completes region 7, class 5A. Those are the, ga those are the ones that matter for right. us. Right, exactly. Again, it's all region games from here for the rest of the year. Ethan's going to throw this one out here to Adriel. Adriel, come on. Come on, Adriel. Come on. Come on. 
Adriel, it uh, looks like he's – did he go out right before? Well, they gave him – He's got about – it's going to be about third and three. Yeah, I thought he was at the – I guess he went out way back there. Adriel, I thought he was at the, uh, the chain, but – Referee is standing at the 34. So, it's going to be third and three. Dalton from their own 34-yard line. Critical, 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 yeah. critical, critical. Get this first down. Yeah, I mean, again, your defense set the tone. You want to keep it on offense to make sure that they stay off the field. Yeah, we knew. I mean, we're up by two scores, but we all know that that's not going to be enough against this football team. No, that's we're not. We're going to need to pad that a little bit. As Adriel Hernandez is met by number 98, which is like running into Stone Mountain. Yeah, that did not work right there. Number 98, Messiah Hogan. Well, two punts, mm -hmm. which didn't happen but one time in the first half. We didn't know who the punters we were. We didn't punt at all, and they punted once, and now here we are. Um, Number one, Chase Taylor, just from this press box, looks like he's 6'5 or 6'6. Tall and lanky, and got a feeling he can fly as Gangora. That's a good coverage punt, good spiral. Ball's going to check up around the 33, 32-yard line of Hiram, where Hiram will get their second offensive possession to start this second half. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Back with you here at Harmon Field, where Hiram will start their second possession in the second half from their own 32-yard line, first and 10 for the Hornets. Each team has uh, traded out punts here to start the second half. Number six for the Hornets. Dalton has done a great job of getting number six. Deshaun Williams tripped up. Yeah, it was a good job by uh, A. Adriel Hernandez setting the edge, making the Running back cut up the field, and then Jeff saw Cle Jeff saw and Lock coming in, clean up the ta with the tackle. You're going to give up some yards to a team like that, but I am just more than proud of this Dalton defense for how well they have played against a tough to defend offense like this. There's that misdirection. And as soon as I say that, number three, whoo, he got sandwiched. Ball's out. Is there a fun bell? I think he got it back though. Well, rats. Number three, Caden Hamilton, the ball carrier for Hiram. We got Kalen that's not feeling well. Hiram has uh, recovered their own fumble, and we do have an injured catamount. And you said it was? Kalem. Kalem Staten? Yeah. Uh, they're going to call for the trainer to come in. We'll be right back to Harmon Field, folks. Hey, folks. Jason Benson, Ford of Dolph. We're proud to be the only President's Award-winning dealership in the area. A testament to our dedication to customer satisfaction. We've been voted the top Ford dealer in all of Georgia by Dealerator.com. And remember, Ford is built for America, and Ford of Dalton is built for you. 54 years. How did we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. Hey Dad, you know the other day a customer told me that they thought we only do transmission repairs here. No son, we are a complete automotive repair facility. Yeah, I know. We can take care of brakes, tune-ups, AC, any other general repairs your car may need. With locations in Cartersville and Dalton, come see us. Back here with you at Harmon Field, the injured catamount was number 10, Kalen Staten. Great news, Staten is up, walked off on his own power. And uh, that's a beautiful thing to see as he has... Uh, 
My goodness, the energy he has uh, played with. Yeah, we need Fan, him to maintain. If we fantastic can. football player. First and 10, Hiram from midfield. This one's going to Hamilton. Hamilton cuts it back up the middle. Hamilton is still going. Hamilton has uh, scored. scored a touchdown. I was watching some more action. Hamilton has took it to the house. That's going to make it 24 to 20. Oh, boy. Well, we knew. Again, we knew. Right. 24 ain't going to win this game. No, no. If you ask me, I think 56 is the, the number we need. Uh, we'll see at the end of the game what it is. But Hiram can score in bunches. Um, and they've proven that. And we can move the ball. We just got to make sure we continue to keep them off balance. Folks, this number 39 kicker for Hiram, he's the, got the best foot of anybody that we have saw in a few years, not just here at Harmon Field, but period, as his last extra point went completely over the net and hit the scoreboard. And that one, that one cleared the scoreboard. Wow. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. How much is your home worth? Find out at coldwellbanker.com with an instant estimate of your home's value. Local expertise matters, and Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty has been guiding our community home for almost 50 years. Locally owned and operated with offices in Dalton, Ringo, Calhoun, Cartersville, and Cleveland, Tennessee, we are here to help. Coldwell Banker Kennard Realty, guiding you home since 1974. Go Big Red! AFG has a new look and a new downtown location. Still the same great service you've came to expect for the last 50 years. Providing health insurance for employers, individuals, and seniors. Come and roll with us and go Big Red. Right back with you here at Harmon Field has number 39 kicked an extra point that cleared the scoreboard. 39, Oliver Castaneda. Got a feeling we're going to be hearing his name on Saturdays and probably Sundays as he has got an unbelievable leg. Dalton is going to return back. Number two, Adriel Hernandez and one, Bubba Tanner. This is the kind of kicker that uh, if he don't want you to return it, no, you're not going to. People at the concession stand better keep their heads up with this guy kicking. He can kick it. And, yep, there one goes. Out of the, out, out of the end zone. <laughs> Mercy, what a foot. he got a nice leg. Huh? Oh, what a God-given gift that young man has got. He Mercy. Knocked, he knocked down one of our banners. All I'm right, but, so Dalton's got the ball got screams a, when he's getting ready to kick it. We gave up uh, a touchdown early in the game that was one of those kind of drives. The first touchdown was more methodical. Metho methodical. There you go. Uh, <laughs> than that one. The chunk plays haven't really been there today for Hiram, and we don't want them to start coming. But they are definitely capable, as you saw. So Dalton's got to make sure that offensively we got to match them touchdown it, for touchdown. It is of utter importance that Dalton keeps this ball, keeps it away from that high-powered octane offense that Hiram has, and that we introduce ourselves to the end zone. Adriel Hernandez on this carry. Adriel has turned the corner, and Adriel's going to be took down around the 32-yard line. There's no flags. That's going to move the chains. First down, Dalton. Great job by Adriel. Obviously, you see uh, Dalton is, is wanting to kind of establish the run game early in the half here because have we thrown the ball once, I think, a little uh, bubble screen, and that was it? Yeah. I think you're right. And I love the way Dalton is not trying to, you know, go up the middle against that massive interior line. And as soon as I say that, uh, Adriel has a great run. Good night. What a great run by Adriel. Yeah. Adriel's right. Adriel's got another first down as number 45 for Hiram. Is uh, he's not enjoying life right now. Number 45 for Hiram is Caleb Eichner. Got a timeout and on the field. we're going to have a uh, medical timeout here, injury timeout. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Why should you choose OptiLink Internet? I chose OptiLink because of the great local service. We know computers and OptiLink knows internet with high speed symmetrical uploads and downloads. My customers depend on me for safety and security and I need fast and dependable internet. That's why I chose OptiLink. Some people say you can't have fast internet. I say, oh yes you can with OptiLink. 
Experience the difference. Call today, 706-529-1313. The 22 football season is here, and we are fired up for our area teams. And Cherokee Pizza is the best place to start or finish the game. Come here for the pizza, the beverages, or the arcade, baby. Good luck, teams, and go dogs! Woo! Welcome to Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Our 250,000 square foot showroom is filled with every kind of indoor and outdoor furniture imaginable, ready to take home today, along with a huge selection of custom cabinets, appliances, lighting, and accessories. Need flooring? We have that too. Shop our massive selection of in-stock carpet, hardwood, LVT, ceramic tile, and area rugs. Take advantage of our free design consultation to make your home look its best. Visit us today at Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Your destination for home. Have you been told it's going to take three to four weeks to repair your transmission? Hogwash, not here at Transformers Transmission. We've got most of your domestic transmissions in stock and ready to go. All back with a five-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Come, Come see, see us. Every community has its challenges. Ours is no different. But while some see challenges, we see opportunities. Opportunities to harness the pride and strengths of Whitfield and Murray County. The United Way fights for the education basic needs and health of everyone in our community. We are the hand raisers, the game changers, and the problem solvers. And Linear United. We can create a community where everyone is a part of something bigger than themselves. We're right back with you here at Harmon Field. Our, we still have an injured Hiram Hornet on the field. Not sure, uh, some type of uh, leg injury, but uh, we're hoping and praying the young man's gonna be okay. And nothing going on except for the injury, and we'll be right back to Harmon Field. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? And what would it be like? Open up a world of possibilities when you sell your home and make those dreams real. At ColdwellBanker.com, you can get an instant estimate on your home, compare cost of living city by city, and learn more about our revolutionary seller's assurance program. So it really is true. Your dreams don't have to be just dreams. 54 years. How did we get here? It's that we made meaningful relationships and, and helped so many people, people along the way. And that, that is the measure of a man. Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. so broken that they are right back with you here at Harmon Field as number 45 for Hiram Caleb Eichner they have got him up and uh, putting him on the golf cart they're going to take a look at that leg and our prayers and thoughts and well wishes are with him and his whole entire family you hate to see a uh, young man get hurt they got their whole future ahead of them and hopefully that uh, hopefully this is uh, not as bad as you know what things could be. He's he's had some great care as uh, Dr. Wilson and our trainers and even the Hiram medical personnel have been on the field tending to him, but uh, you just hate to see this. Thoughts and prayers for his family. It's a lower leg injury for sure. They've got it wrapped up in some sort of bandage and some sort of tourniquet on it, so hopefully it's not t uh, too bad like you said. Boy, he's a big young, big young man. You know he hates it. Oh. Very important game for Hiram as much as Dalton. Receiving a well-deserved round of applause. I mean, I'm just kind of looking at the golf cart. Um, are you kind of seeing it? He's big. He, he is a, a, a mercy. And I love what Hiram is doing with their teammate there, running to the cart and uh, checking on him, letting him know that, hey, man, we're going to do this for you. You're part of us. We love you. And, again, hope the young man's going to be okay. All right, back at it, Dalton. First and 10, Dalton from their own 42-yard line. We've got uh, Bubba Tanner down here in single coverage. Kendricks London, number five, and R.J. Story, 13 to the top. Adriel Hernandez, number two, beside Ethan in the backfield. Ethan with the ball, fakes, fakes the throw. Ethan's going to run out of the pocket, and Ethan is going to be took down by number 28, they which do. is Hosea Pope. Yeah, they do a good job of kind of showing uh, that Ethan has a hole, and they had coverage. They had a man over the top. It's hard to throw. Um, and they, they show, like, I guess the defensive linemen, they're coming up field, but they don't really sprint up field to get the quarterback. 
and that hole closes quickly. Curtis, they, they're doing something that Dalton was not doing in the first half, and that's maintaining what you were talking about with gap integrity. He only gained one of that. As Adriel Hernandez on this play, Jeff's on block doing some, Jeff's on doing some uh, blocking, and maybe the blocking was uh, too good for the officials. We've got a flag on the field. Yeah, I think as he turned the corner, Jeff Son just didn't let go. Holding against the big red. I mean, obviously, Hiram's come out and made some adjustments on offense or defense themselves, so Dalton now has to make some adjustments. We don't want to give them the ball back um, up three. I just don't – I mean, it's – we've got to score some points. So, Dalton's going to have to get in their bag of tricks and make sure we maintain possession somehow. That's going to make it second down and about 20 for the Cats as they are back to their own 33-yard line. Well, third and uh, second and 19. We've got Bubba Tanner going in motion. Ethan going to roll out of the pocket. Ethan looking for somebody to get open. Uh oh, oh. No. number 25 for Hiram. We threw it right to him. Number 25 for the Hornets, Isaiah Swan. He normally returns the punts and kicks, and he has now returned an Ethan long pass. That's going to give Hiram a first and 10 at the Dalton 40-yard line. That is absolutely not, 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 not what we needed to happen right there. Yeah, Ethan did that in the first half right there at the end of the half and got away with it. This time he didn't get away with it. Uh, no. They're doing a good job on defense of layering, and we didn't uh, – as much as we bragged on the offensive line, I think they're going to go back and look at that and say – we failed right there because they did not block for Ethan on that one, and he had to scramble and just had to make a rash decision, and it was too late. You don't want to give this offense that kind of a gift, and that's exactly what we've done. In defense, we're calling on you. Yeah, we need defense now. Um, well, we need this defense to uh, make a stand right here. They we did a good job coming out of half, and then they had that one 50-yard run. We need defense to stand up right here. Well, that's our uh, – is that our second pick of the night? That's only our first pick. We had to fumble in the pick. It's fumble, second okay. turnover. Okay. Now you don't want to do that against this kind of team. Strickland on the quarterback keeper. Ran straight up the gut as he's tackled by number 75, Striker Woods. Strickland picks up enough to move the chains, and that's a first down for the Hornets as they are now down to Dalton's 28-and-a-half yard line. But Dalton has uh, Adriel spying the quarterback, so – when you have to do that, it takes away from your blitzers and great, numbers. Great job. Jeff Sonlock and number two, Adriel Hernandez, did a fantastic job staying at home. And they have uh, put a one-yard loss on the Hornets. That'll be second and 11, ball back to the 24. I mean, I want to stop here, but unfortunately, they have a leg that can make this field goal. <laughs> as soon as they passed the Dalton D, they were a scoring threat. Mercy, that kicker. Strickland with the ball, giving this one to number four. Four took some shots, and he's a tough runner himself. His four is Kendarius Brown. We yeah, got we another Hornet. I'm sorry, Curtis. We got another Hornet it's a little, getting up a little slow. I was going to say, we had like a, some miscommunication on the defensive line, and Stryker was doing a shift when nobody else was, and it kind of left that hole to the left open. Big number 90, Cass Betton in on that D line for Dalton as the Hornets have got about a third and two. Ball is on the Dalton 20. That's exactly what Hiram would want. Right. And there is a first down. Hopefully not more than a first. That's, that's number four, Kendarius Brown. He had a chop block on both. I, don't, I, I know our defensive lineman went down to the ground immediately. <laughs> they chop blocked for sure. I'd like to see that replay. And that would be a 15-yard penalty right there. I, all of them did it. Like We had two or three guys on the ground. First and goal for Hiram as they are at the Dalton seven-yard line. Come on, Red. Need that defense. Kendarius Brown again going up the gut, and let's see. He's still up. He's crossed the goal line. That's a touchdown for the Hornets. They have now took the lead. Hiram has not led all evening, but they do now as they have took a 27 to 24 lead awaiting the PAT. And that's almost, a, that's a given with this kicker. 
Miss a field goal. He did miss a field goal. Um, well, say that's good. I've already jinxed him. However, we <laughs> Dalton offensively, they're going to have to figure it out, and they're going to figure it out quick. Wow, bad snap, and 39 is going to take off with it. Extra point is, I feel safe saying it's not going to be any good. And they still completed the pass close. on the craziest play I've ever seen in my life. I'm pretty sure that was illegal oh, touching. Oh, boy, well, we, no. we're going to have a 15-yard penalty on somebody. No, I think it's illegal touching. Their lineman called it. The okay, is that what it is? Catch it. I thought I saw some scuffling going on. Yeah, I think it's illegal. It's got to be because, I mean, a big defensive lineman caught that ball. So... Dalton's going to obviously decline this penalty and still be down three. Personal foul against Hiram. Yep, that's what it was. 15-yard penalty, personal foul. So Hiram would be kicking from their own 25. Well, that's better than what I was thinking it was. I'm surprised. They, I mean, I, I saw some guys. Am, getting I, a am little, I wrong? Uh, did not the defensive line catch that ball? His offensive lineman did. I mean, I meant to say that offensive. Uh, line, that's what I've been saying. I've been saying defense. Uh, yeah, but, but you know, lineman, they can't catch it. They're, that's illegal touching. They can't touch the ball. Well, I'm glad they did what they did instead of that. It's because, well, he'll still play. Put it in the end zone from here. I'd like to see him get at least a five yard run. Just see how far he can kick it. <laughs> Three twenty eight well, left to go in the third. We're going to see if he can kick it out of the end zone here. It just depends if he wants to. I mean, for Hiram, it's not the end of the story for them. No. Because he can flat out kick the ball. No. That guy is a weapon. In a close game, that's what you want right there. He yeah. is a weapon. That missed extra point or missed opportunity mm -hmm. um, allows Dalton to stay within a field goal, so that helps. Oliver Castaneda is the kicker's name. And uh, let's see where this one lands, if it lands. How about that ball dreads this? <laughs> I bet it does. Oh, we've got a 10-yard head start three. There's no telling us where this one's going to come down. Yeah, I think the Tell people to Adriel post off. and uh, Bubba's going to want to make sure they have coverage back like that. <laughs> he still put it to the one-yard line. <laughs> Oh, come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Bubba on a return for Dalton. Bubba's going to be took down around the 36-ish yard line. It's a good return by Bubba it Tanner. Because he caught it around the one. He so did. it's about a 35-yard return for Dalton. 3.18 left to go here in the third quarter. Dalton trailing the Hornets 27-24. to 24. This is our region opener. Dalton will be on the road. It's been a while since we've been on the road. I guess Rotmart would be our last away game. Dalton will be at Woodland next week before we come back home to play Cass. Yeah, it felt like last year we were never going to play at home. And this year it seems like we're never going to play on the road. Yeah, we're going to we're going to have some separation anxiety from from Whitfield County. First and ten, Dalton from their own 36-yard line. Dalton needs an answer right here. Oh dear Lord, do we ever! It was 24 to 14 at the half, so Hiram has oh. outscored us 13 to nothing to start this second half. We're going to have a penalty. Uh, against Hiram as they lined up offside. So that's a five-yard penalty against the Hornets. That'll make it first and five for Dalton. Hey, we'll take whatever we can get. We'll take it because we've had that happen to us where we've gotten that penalty called against us. And Again, region game, very important. On the shift, the young man kind of came across the line. And as I have learned, uh, you can't do that in high school football. <laughs> it's hard to remember the difference in all the rules between high school and college and then, of course, that from the pros. First and five, Dalton now up to the 41. Hiram does that a few more times. We'll uh, we'll feel grateful. We got Jeff Son as the H back. Ethan in the shotgun going to toss this one out to Adriel. Come on, Adriel. That's what Curtis. That's what I was expecting them to do in the first half. Is those corners and outside backers are coming up now to take that pitch and that outside game the way that Dalton was having success with in the first half. Yeah. That's where if they keep doing that, though, you'll see Dalton hit them over the, over the top. Bingo. you got some really fast players, and they're trying to cover that with a, what is that, a two-deep safety? Now they're three. Second and four from the 42. They yeah, they keep. got three back there now, but I'm sure one of them's going to change. All right, they're bringing him up. So we got R.J. Story and Kendrick's London to the top. 
Jeff's on lock. Going in motion. Adriel behind Ethan. Ethan's going to hand this one off to Adriel. Come on, Adriel. Come on, Adriel. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Adriel is going to get into uh, Hiram's territory as Dalton will now have the ball from the Hiram 45-yard line. First down, Dalton. I ain't going to lie. From our vantage point, we have perfect vision, and Adriel made some moves inside of that pocket that really sprung him. I mean, that was just really good footwork. Hiram was there to make the play, and Adriel just said, nope, I'm going to go about three yards to the right, and he was gone. First, first and 10, Dalton from the Hiram 45 as we've got two receivers at the top. Going to give this one to Adriel again. Adriel has crossed the 45 down to about the 42 or 43. Uh, pickup of about two. Bring up second down and eight. Got Bubba Tanner checking back in. Jeff Son coming out on this play. Dalton, Dalton's going to run heavy this half. Um, we run a lot of the plays where they're running plays, which is – Okay, as long as you're getting positive yardage. So, Boy, we hope we can do something with that scoreboard. We're going to have to. Two receivers at the bottom, one to the top. Ethan's going to throw it out here to an eight. Bannon failing. Bannon has got a first down. Bannon's down to about the 27-yard line of Hiram. No flags. You better believe it. Once again, first down, Dalton. Yeah, great play call right there. We needed that over the middle. That's what the run play sets up. So, that's why you're, you're body blow, body blow, then you hit them. Mm -hmm. But I want to congratulate or, or commend Bubba right there. He could have had a block in the back. He was right there, and he kind of just stood. He could have pushed a little bit, and they got called. But because he didn't do that, Bannon got a big play. Bannon appreciates him not doing that, too. First and 10, Dalton from the Hiram 28-yard line. R.J. Story to the top. Kendricks London to the bottom. Bubba Tanner going in motion. Bubba with the ball. Bubba Tanner has got some room. Bubba jumped over number two, the defender, and Bubba's going to be very close to another first down if he hasn't already got it. It looks like he – does he have it? I think so. I think they're pointing to the – Their chains are moving. First down, Dalton from the Hiram 18-yard line. Got a little, I'm sorry. Got a little jet sweep action. Cats inside the red zone. Him jet sweeps are pretty effective. With the speed you have with Bubba. Mm-hmm. Kendricks, London, and R.J. Story, receivers to the bottom. Yeah, I mean, they're one-on-one -on -one down here, so. Curtis, my friend, this third quarter is about history as we are at 52 seconds to go in the third. Ethan's going to throw this and out to Kendricks, London. Kenny inside the 10. It's going to be forward progress have him inside the 10. Yep. Uh, let's see. First. Looks like forward progress maybe to the eight-yard line. That's going to be first and goal. They're moving the chains. Looks like we might go into halftime. They stopped the clock for some reason. Let's try the fourth quarter. But they stopped the clock, which made the – Not halftime, fourth quarter. Oh, my bad. <laughs> You're but fine. I, I'm getting confused because the clock was behind. Now we have to run a play because somebody stopped the clock and messed up the play clock with the play – uh, uh, Is that a new clock. GHSA rule this year? I don't know. Let's see what happens. We don't want to call timeout, I can tell you that. First and goal, Dalton from the Hiram 8 as Adriel Hernandez has got down to about the 5 before he's went out of bounds. 2.1 seconds left to go here in the third. Got Dalton going to come run one more play, going out of bounds. This will stop the clock. Yeah, I was. my brain was focused on the clock. The game clock and the play clock was right there together, and there was a one-second difference, and the play clock kept going, but the game clock stopped for a second and put it behind it, and it kind of confused Dalton. Dalton has got it first and goal from the Hiram. Looks like the Hiram five. Second down. Two seconds left to go here in the third. We got flag. Uh, we got a timeout on Hiram. Well, let's see. Timeout Hiram. We'll be right back to Harmon Field. Kaler Industrial Sales after hours service. This is Raymond. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, sure can. Uh, we can meet you in about 15 minutes. Does that work? Hey, Heath, you got to go to work. I'm go. Good hit, Aiden. Good hit. Papa, why are you and Dad always running off to work like that? Well, at Kaler Industrial, we always tell our customers we don't expect their business, we earn their business. VidLink brings the roar of the track to you. Start your engines. The race is on. Be there for all the action at home with VidLink. 
You can restart and replay content, watch HD movies, sports, and local channels, all from your television, computer, or smartphone. Backed by local customer service. No contracts. So keep the good times rolling. It's the all-in-one streaming app from OptiLink that gives you the ultimate view. It's a winner. Get VidLink today. Ford of Dalton would like to recognize our past and present Dalton Public Schools teachers. Ford of Dalton, your hometown Ford dealership. Go, Catamounts! Right back with you here at Harmon Field. We've got 2.3 seconds left to go before the fourth quarter. Hiram up by a field goal where Dalton has its second and goal from the Hiram Five. Twenty-seven, twenty-four. Hiram with a three-point lead. Got Adriel beside Ethan in the backfield. This ball is going to Adriel. Adriel is juking it. Adriel has got. I believe he got. Yes, he's got a touchdown for the Big Red. Touchdown, Dalton. Right as time expired. Exactly right as time expired. That's going to make it thirty to twenty-seven. Dalton awaiting the PAT. Adrian Gangor getting ready to kick. Asher Renfro, your holder. I believe 68 is your snapper. Is that Amir Garcia or Eric Freyer? One of them 68, the 66 other one 66. 66 is Eric Freyer. Okay, so 68 is Amir Garcia. He's done a great job on the snap. Good snap, good hole, kick is up and good. Going into the fourth quarter, Dalton 31, Hiram 27. We'll be right back. Boy, we needed that. Direct Packaging is your complete one-stop packaging supplier of choice. In addition to being the largest in-stock packaging and adhesive supplier in North Georgia, Direct Packaging also manufactures boxes while adhering to the same service standards our customers have come to expect. With over 170,000 square feet of packaging and specialty films, boxes, and adhesives, we are the leader for packaging supplies. Direct Packaging is committed to our customers. We have a dedicated fleet ready to serve you. We pride ourselves in being able to deliver upon receipt in a 60-mile radius within a four-hour window. Our friendly staff is very knowledgeable and willing to help in any way that we can. With years of experience in the packaging industry, we can find the right product that suits your packaging needs. Direct Packaging also believes in supporting our community. We proudly serve by giving back to local organizations that make the Dalton area such a great place to live. Proud of the work we do. Dedicated to the customers we serve. Direct Packaging, your largest single source packaging distributor manufacturer in North Georgia. Contact us today. Here we are back at Harmon Field, getting ready to start the fourth quarter. Dalton scored as the uh, third quarter ended. PAT was good. The Big Red leads 31 to 27 over the Hiram Hornets. Again, this is our region opener. All games leading up to tonight were non-region. Boy, that score's changed in a hurry. Yep. As Calhoun is now 17 to 14 over Cartersville. Number 20, Adrian Gangora, getting ready to kick off for the Big Red. Good kick by Adrian, and this one's going to be coming down to number seven, Jamarian Watley, as Dalton will need to take him down very soon. The kicker, Adrian Gangora, making the tackle. Boy, Adrian's an athlete, too. Oh, my goodness. We have... Uh, <laughs> Whether he's kicking or playing defense or taking a toss sweep from the offense, he can go. He can run. He can. Hiram will come out first and 10 from their own 27 and a half yard line. I think that's a pretty good uh, win for Dalton on kickoff, if you ask me. You better believe it. What a great, uh, great region opener for both teams. Both teams are really being well tested. Hiram comes in here as the uh, top-ranked scoring offense in the state, number five in 5A. And the Big Red so far, boy, it was late. The Big Red so far has uh, held I, Hiram to 27 points. They're averaging 45. I'll say, I, I, I've seen that several times. You're talking about that blocking downfield. They, they don't stop till they hear the whistle. A gain of five, second and five. Hiram now up to their own 33-yard line. Well, they snap it quick. Yeah, they do. Number three, I believe, is uh, Hamilton. Got a hold. We got a flag on this one. 
Number three is Caden Hamilton. Either a hold or a hands to the face. Well, let's see. Hiram staying, so. Holding against Hiram. That is a win for Dalton, because again, Hiram's not the passing team. So they, they definitely want to run, run, run. That's going to make it second down. That number 90 that came off the field, what was his name? Cass Betton. Cass Betton. He's a sophomore, I do believe. <laughs> He's the next superstar for Dalton. Uh, He's a good-sized young man, too. And he plays hard. Yes, he does. Second and 14, Hiram, ball back to their own 23-yard line. Yeah, I believe Betton is a sophomore. I think so. I remember seeing him last year. He's like. impressive seeing him in the catwalk. Number five. Six. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Praise the Lord for the out of bounds over there. Yeah. Number six, Deshaun Williams, your runner for Hiram, picks up a chunk because we had him second and long due to that penalty. Third down and one. Woo, defense mercy. Well, this would be it's big. It's hard against this this offense. That's a hard to get ask right there. You got a very mobile quarterback. You got four or five guys back there with that misdirection stuff. It's hard to figure out who got the ball, and you got a massive offensive line. Other than that, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's it's very similar to what Cedar Town was doing last week. Just those five yard gains can become ten yard gains if the game wears on. Third and one. That's going to be a first down for the Hornets. As number four. Kendarius Brown. Usually when we play a team, it's uh, you only got to memorize one or two numbers. But, man, with these guys, you got about six you better know. Yeah. This this game might come down to who has the ball last, if I'm being honest. 10.50 left to go in the ball game. Dalton up by four. Hiram has got the ball on their own 43. Pitch back to six. Six being, again, Deshaun Williams. A gain of uh, Curtis is like about six or seven from here. Yep, that's the, that is a win for Hiram. Got Cameron Staten. Having having the team, you know, again, we're playing both ways. A lot of our players right, right. running sideline to sideline. Every play, you better be in shape. Hiram has got the ball right at midfield where it's second and three. They just need to get down to the 47 Daltons to uh, get them another first. You feel like Dalton needs a turnover Yeah. to just try to calm the storm right now. They just keep getting chunk play after chunk play. Exactly as that right there says. Number four. Kendarius Brown, no flags. That's going to move the chains yet again. And at this point, you know, I don't know if Dalton's defense is just getting tired. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely fatigued. And they would have reason to be tired. I mean, you're battling something three times bigger than you this long. Yep. I hope the Big Red can uh, bow its back and find a way to keep these guys out of the end zone. As number nine, we've not called him. Number nine is going to be... Tackled eventually around the five-yard line where it's going to be first and goal for Hiram. Number nine, Amari – okay, we have called his name, but it's been a while. Amari Lindley. Curtis, they just bring in another back that can get you 10 to 15 back after back after back. Yep. They and are loaded with running backs. I can promise you a shoulder tackle ain't going to stop these guys. No, you got to wrap up and get no, them down. No, 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 no. And we keep doing that. I don't know why. Again, like number that. nine, Amari Lindley, great play. That's that, how you do it. Notice the difference. They don't gain 10. As Jeff son lock on the tackle for Dalton. He said, nope. <laughs> Second and go. He said, you may score, but it ain't going to be right now. Yep. Maybe the next play, but it ain't going to be this play. Second and go from the Dalton five. Nine minutes left to go in your ball game. Big Red will be on the road next week as we go down to Woodland, but right now we don't care. We just got to worry about Hiram right now. Again, Lindley with the ball. What's a load? He's got a touchdown. And that's going to make it 33 to 31. Curtis, I believe this is the shootout that we were uh, talking about early in the game. This is why it was so important to try to put as many points on in, in the first half as possible. Bingo. It's hard to stop them. And now you're in a, like you just said, a shootout because. 
it's going to be hard to stop them. You're tired. They they do a good job of blocking. They're big. They're physical. The Hornets are going to go for two to make it more than just a field goal that Dalton would have to score to tie the game. So okay. this would put them up 35 to 31 if successful. I feel like they just feel like that Dalton can't really block them right now. Hamilton with the ball going to pitch back to great. Oh, I thought he went down. God, yes, yes, that may very well be big right there. The yep. two-point conversion is no good as Dalton stops it with 8.50 left to go in the game. 33-31, Hiram will be right back to Harmon Field. Whether you run a business, run your family's finances, or you're opening your first account, you need sound financial guidance from bankers who know you by name. Discover what a strong, locally-owned community bank can do for you. Biltwell Bank. Hey football fans, I'm Chris and this is my dad Charles. Here at Transformers, we believe in no gimmicks, just affordable pricing and quality repairs. Come see us at Dalton, Cartersville, or check us out online at TransformersTransmission.com. 8.50 left to go in your ball game as Dalton will send back number one as usual, Bubba Tanner, number two, Adriel Hernandez, as Hiram has just scored to make it 33 to 31 in favor of the Hornets. 8.50 left to go. Region opener. Big, 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 big game here for the Cats. Yeah, I look for this young man to kick it out of the end zone. I don't think he wants Bubba touching this ball. Those kids out there in the big open field behind the D-Tron might get them a souvenir here if they're, wait if they're waiting. And there's the kick, and oh, yeah, that's a touchback. He went over the fence. Yep. His leg's not getting tired. Dalton will take over first and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Curtis, this is, uh, to say this drive is important, <laughs> it goes without saying, really. Yeah, I think you've got to have it. You want a good met methodical. Thank you. My mouth sometimes, I have the yips. But uh, anyway, they they want to score, but you obviously want to score with as little, as little time on the clock as possible. Yeah, it's 8.50. So, I, don't, uh, I would rather them not have the ball again. Uh, defense is just exhausting. Oh, Lord, yes. The defense had rather them not have the ball again, too. I mean, 8.50 is hard to come off the clock. But. Yeah, yeah. Ethan, uh, with the ball, going to hand it off to Adriel. Adriel is going to be took down pretty quick. Yeah, they got off the ball quick on that uh -huh. one. Uh-huh. One thing we do have to have is points, I can tell you that. Um, Dalton's got the ball on their own 19-yard line. We actually lost one. So it's second and 11. So uh, you don't want to be behind the chains on second down already. So we need to get some something positive going here. So we got three receivers at the top. Adriel in the backfield with Ethan. Boy, the Big Red needs to uh, have them a good drive here and finish it with points. All right, Ethan's going to pitch it back to Adriel. Adriel shed a block and or a tackler, and Adriel has picked up enough. Looks like to move the chains. No flags. We've got an injured catamount down around the 37-yard line. I uh, can't tell from here who. 13, R.J. Story. You know, he had been uh, kind of hobbling a little bit from that tackle early. We did get a first down, and uh, – I think either it's – hopefully it's just cramping. You know how we've had cramping earlier exactly. in the year. Looks exactly. Looks like that's what they're working on, the way they're stretching his calf out. Those things hurt so bad, too. My heart just falls every time I see a guy in a red helmet go down. Yeah. Because we uh, don't want any, anybody to get hurt. <laughs> Folks, we'll be right back to Harmon Field. 2022 football season's here, and the Oakwood Cafe is ready to serve you pancakes as big as your head. Come on down on Saturday morning after the big game and eat a plate full of hash browns till your belly starts aching. And don't forget to check out what we've got going on at Walnut Hill Farm. Woo! Here at Harmon Field, where RJ Story is up, walking off the field on his own power. Great, great, great sign. Yeah. Don't want anybody to get hurt. But, it's getting uh, hard. Your, your muscles are like done right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, playing both ways and. You know, for late September, we've had some mighty warm days here lately. And the nights are not exactly getting cold. 
7.59 left to go from Harmon Field. Dalton first and 10 from their own 30-yard line. Adriel did just enough to get the first down. Uh, I think Dalton came up early, 66. I think our left tackle came up a little early. That's going to be a five-yard penalty against the Big Red. So that'll move the ball back to the 25, where it's going to be first and 15 for Dalton. And I think we had something there going because we had them on the weak side and, or on, yeah, we were going on the strong side and we had plenty of room to run and Bob was pretty fast. Got that right. He can almost outrun me in my truck. <laughs> on your mower? No, he can outrun the mower. All right, first and 15, Dalton. Ethan's going to throw this one out here to Kendricks London. Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Kendricks London may take it to the house. Come on, Kenny. He pushed him and actually got the score off. He pushed him. Oh, my gosh. That I thought was, I was going to track him that down. That was beautiful when he pushed and him and Kendrick's just got him across. London said, I'm not going out of bounds. I'm going to get a touchdown out of this. I love that push. It just, it well, just. Well, trying to push him out of bounds, and Kendrick's like, no, I'm going to get a touchdown. Oh, my gosh. It looked like Superman going across the two-yard line. Beautiful. The Big Red could not have got anything more than what they needed right there. 37-33 Dalton. Whoo, man. I was thinking in my brain, we either score fast. That way, if they do one of their. We got time. Drives, we have time to answer. So, great job right there by Kendrick's London. What an athlete. Curtis, we're going for two. I don't think that's a bad idea. You're up, was that four? Well, if you kick if you, if you kick the PAT, you're just up by five. Right. That doesn't really do this anything. This puts you up by six. Makes this them way, make a, they have to hit up their PAT. Right. And even though distance is not a problem for him, he has missed one when it went wide left. So well, their snap's been pretty bad. They did miss a field goal. So we got to get we, – we really, 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 really need to get this. All right, we got a – whistles. Whistles on the field. Like a delay of game maybe. I never saw a flag go down. Yep. Delay a game against Dalton. Well, that kind of hurts that uh, yep. game plan. That's going to back it up five. Well, decision time here. Let's see what we're going to do. I don't see Gangora on the field. Fourth and seven, which is essentially what this is. You get one play to make a conversion. It's going to be difficult. So. I think we're still going to be going for the two-point conversion. It looks like they are. The same philosophy applies. They're going to. You're making them. You're forcing them to score, which we know they can. Oh, they're canceling the flag. Okay. Did the, did the <coughs> clock mess up? Maybe. Well, huh, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll just go with it. They cancel the flag. Now we're going I for two don't for know. sure. <laughs> you could say this game is back and forth. I would say so. It's like a tennis match. All right. Ethan with three receivers at the top. R.J. Story in single coverage to the bottom. Bubba Tanner going in motion. Boy, we need this. Dalton's up by four. Ethan is oh. going to take off running. Ethan is going to. Ethan is in. Two-point conversion is good. 39 to 33. The Big Red is up by six. 7-23 left to go in the ball game from Harmon Field. The Big Red is up by six. 39-33 on the fifth ranked team in 5A. Man, what a wild, crazy, fun, entertaining, <laughs> exciting, exasperating this game. This was very similar to the game last year. Dalton won, uh -huh. I think it was 42-35, 39-33. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's not over. And it ain't over. It is not over. 7-23 with these two offenses. There's time for four more touchdowns. I said my number was 56. We still got to get two touchdowns for that. So, no, my math right? Oh. No, we got two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. I don't know. I'm a history teacher, get, not a math For us to get 56, yeah, we need two touchdowns and a field goal. Oh. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. Lord, we don't yeah, need them to drive down the field. a good defensive stop. Oh, we need, do not need them to drive down the field. You got to bow up one more time, boys. Adrian Gangora getting ready to uh, kick off. Lord, I wish he would put this in the I'd like him to put it right the there at zone. the G. Going to do a little short kick. Short high kick. Uh, number nine Gonna for run. 
That's uh, Amari. Oh, he's down. He was down. What's going on? Was he not down? Yeah, he was down, but they didn't call him down. So well, I okay. guess his knee didn't touch. I guess not. That's what they said. Brandon, can you pull up a replay on that last play? I'm just. I just assumed his knee went down. It looked like. Okay, he here did. we go. You ask and Brandon delivers. It looked like his knee was down. Okay, hurry up and kick. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. No, no, nope. no, nope. it wasn't. Fantastic, Good call, by fantastic the call by, or no call by the officials because his knee never did go down. It's a great call on the officials as uh, Hiram will have it first and 10 from their own 39 yard line. 7 14 left to go in your ball game. The bigger red up by six. Now yeah, the now these now the crowd now getting everybody's into it. getting into it. That's good. We need some energy. Come on, D. Come on, D. Yes, right there, right there. Take him down. That a baby. Okay. Oh, bump. Did he? Did he fumble? I thought the ball came out. Did he fumble? Did no, he, he didn't. Fumble? He no, didn't, he but didn't. I thought at the no, end he the, didn't. The football came. Not, the football came out. Uh, the Only football a, came out now. I, he might have been down, but watch right here. Watch right here. Watch that ball at the end. There's a ball on the ground, but you couldn't see it. Uh -uh. Replay would have probably overturned this, and Dalton would have the football, but we don't have replay in high school. Second and seven has a gain of three. Hiram from their own 42-yard line. Need the big red defense to step up as that's a big gain by number six. We've seen this before. Deshaun Williams. Williams going to move the chains. He's going to pick up a first down as they are now into Dalton's side of the field. Just hitting that well, middle. No, they're not. Hitting they're, that middle. They're just at midfield. They're not there yet. Come on, defense. Man, we need a turnover. Woo, we need a turnover. We need a turnover. Bad. Oh, we need a turnover. Number three, that's uh, Hamilton. Guys, when you tackle those legs, that'll stop that stuff. Yeah, you got to get them down. We keep trying to keep them up to I, strip I, the ball. I, I, I don't understand it. Take them legs out, and he stops. I don't understand this. All right, here we go, boys. Got six, a 11, 6 11 to go in the game. Mm -hmm. Hire them down to the Dalton 35. You definitely don't want it to be. When you keep tackling high, you're allowing them to keep driving down the field like this. And they're hard to tackle. Yes. They keep moving. Them legs don't quit churning. Take him out from knees down. That'll stop that stuff. Pass on the play intended for number six. Pass is incomplete. That helps a little bit. Intended receiver, Deshaun Williams. Second down. Stops the clock with uh, 548 left to go in your ball game. Yeah, Dalton, if they're going to give up a touchdown, we got to make sure we have enough time to score. I wonder how much total offense Hiram has tonight. I'd love to know. Woo. I'd love to know. And it's all on the ground pretty much. I, just, I wonder how much they got in the second half alone. And I'd like to see Dalton's too, though. Yeah. It's not been a boring game by no stretch. Okie dokie. Second and 10 from the 35. Oh. High snap, quarterback oh, bobble, but again, they recovered. Luck. They recovered. And number six. Jeez. Number six, once again. Deshaun Williams. Dalton just can't have the luck. We can't stop them like this. That's going to move the chains again. We cannot stop them like this. First and 10 from the Dalton 23. They're getting they're getting close to our red zone now. They're showing three timeouts for Hiram, but I know they only have two because they took a timeout right before the third quarter ended. All right, Dalton. No more. Oh, wow. Well, what we were afraid of happening just happened. 39 to 39, awaiting the PAT. That's, I mean, I'm, I just think that's showing fatigue right there. That was, yeah, yeah. tackling was an issue on that play right. for sure. You got to tackle that. Yeah, that you, was, you, can't, you cannot keep tackling as high as we're trying to tackle. You can't do that. Well, uh, well they got to make the, are they going to go for two here? I don't know. I think they don't think they've got a kicker, I mean, the kicker, but a, a snapper. I think the snap is the that problem. That was a long snapper that uh, that left. And All we right, this is big right here. Hope he's okay. Right there. 
Oh, we just keep missing them. We just Cameron. keep missing them. 41 to 39. Hire them by two. You needed that play so bad right oh, there. 515 left to go in the ball game. And Cameron was so close coming up and just couldn't get around the waist. Two weeks in a row, the Big Red has fought their heart out. Hopefully this one turns out in our favor. 41 to 39. It's anybody's ball game. All right, now 515. You definitely want a, a good drive here. You can kick a field goal to win. Um, touchdown works for me better. Touchdown, you go for two. You're up. Same situation seven, as while right? ago. Make them, you're up by six. Six? Yeah. Yeah, because they had two. That's right. Well, one, Bubba Tanner. Two, Adriel Hernandez. Back deep to receive for Dalton. <clears throat> If you remember, Morton Anderson used to kick for the uh, Falcons. I think this guy's better than Anderson was. You, you never want to play the what-if game, but remember, Dalton had the ball at the 10 or so right before half. Yeah. Chance to kick a field goal, yeah. and we just didn't make it happen. No. So that, that might come back to bite us. Didn't leave enough time on the clock there. Is there's the kick. Uh, yep, that one's, uh, that, that one's out of here. Did you get a field goal? Out of, no, I thought he got a field goal out of that. Two yards more, and he had a field goal from the 40-yard line. All right, now your offense comes back on the field. You First, need a good play, a good possession. First and 10 from the 20. We're 80 yards away from uh, scoring. Thankfully, all we need is a field goal, but uh, I'd feel much better with, uh, especially considering who their kicker is. Yeah. But, but if their long snappers hurt, that's why they've been going for two. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's That's been your issue. Uh-huh. All right, first and 10, Dalton. That are, to me, a last second field goal with one second remaining would be the best oh. scenario. Would that make up for that heartbreaker last week? I think it would. Because this is a region game. Adriel Hernandez looking for some room. Adriel is a good effort by Adriel. My goodness, good effort by Adriel. Like I Adriel's said, 25 yards, that's five, five yards, Curtis. Yeah, he fell a four over five. Like I said, it may come down to who has the ball last. Well, in that case, we need to hold on to it. Yep. 450 left to go in your ball game. Second and five from the 25-yard line as Adriel gained five. Great effort. Ethan's going to keep this. and going to roll out of the pocket. Ethan's going to throw it out here to Jeffson Lock. Couldn't tell if 25 got there too early, but uh, Jeffson could not come up with it. So that's going to be third down. They didn't call it, but it did look like he was kind of tackling him as he was going. I can tell you that. Yeah, he but. was. Uh, they were mighty close. All right, third and five. Ooh. Third and five from the 25 is number eight, Bannon Phelan coming in. Number one, Bubba Tanner coming out. 438 left to go in your ball game. It's been such a good game. Oh, it has. Three receivers at the top. Jeffson lock and single coverage. Look at the size advantage Jeffson has over the defender. Ethan's going to throw it out here to R.J. Story. Art went right through R.J.'s hands. That's going to be a fourth down, folks. Went right through R.J.'s hands. So we've got a fourth down, and Dalton is going to have to punt. And that's not good for obvious reasons. We're down by two to a team that we're having trouble stopping. So uh, maybe uh, Hiram might – Fumble the punt, return, Dalton falls on it. I don't know. Adrian, let's get the kick of your life right here. We needed to move the ball on that drive. Yeah, we needed that possession for sure. We couldn't make it happen. Adriel, uh, wobbly spiral, is going to come down around the Hiram 42. He's going to go out of bounds around the Hiram 35. It's a good kick. 36-yard line. So that's where Hiram will take over. 425 left to go in your ball game. 41 to 39, Hiram with a two-point lead. That's not the bad news. The bad news is they have the ball. Yeah, I mean, this reminds me a little bit of Rockmark where we just got to finish the game. We have chances. We've gotten chances. We've got we got a chance here. We've got to make a stop. Have to make a stop here. You've got three timeouts. Down two. Obviously, Hiram wants to control the ball and the clock. They don't score. It doesn't matter if we don't score. They win. So, Dalton's got to have a big a big defensive stand here. We need a three and out. They're averaging 41, uh, 45 a game. They had 14 at halftime. They got 
41. So they've scored four touchdowns in this second half. And remember, we stopped them on the first possession of the second half. Uh huh. Had a chance to go up. Turnovers will kill you. 31 to 14. Yeah. Our defense, our offense kind of sputtered. Watley, we've got his name memorized with the ball. Got a flag. We got a late flag. Number six. Excuse me, Deshaun Watt, uh, Williams. Number six is not chop. doing well. Oh. They called a chop block on Dalton. Wow. A chop. But it wasn't on the running back. It was uh -uh. on the defensive. That's the 15 lineman. yards, Curtis. Wow. That's 15 yards. That's a big penalty right there. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <sighs> Don's going to have to start thinking about their timeouts now. Man, oh, man, oh, man, Dalton. Just having some mental mistakes at this moment. Oh, boy. That penalty is going to move the ball down to the Dalton 42-yard line. 417 left to go in your game from Harmon Field. Somebody's going to have to step up and say, I'm going to do it. I mean, Dalton's going to have to get in that backfield somehow and get penetration to get the disruption in the football game here. They're blocking us. We're five yards down the field by the time we actually get to the yeah, running back. Their size is controlling us. And they keep going to it. There's number four, number 10, Staten on the tackle. You got Kalem. That's still five yards or so. Four, Kendarius Brown. Every back they have, every back they have gets a minimum of four and five yards every carry. Second and six as once again a gain of four down to the Dalton 38. 335 left go from Harmon Field. Dalton's got to start worrying about timeouts. Because you He's know they're going to they're going to take as much time off his clock oh, as yeah. possible. Why wouldn't you? And that's what you do. That's what you do. That offensive possession was a oh, killer. It was man, a killer. It, this hurts watching how much time they're taking. I mean, it's smart football, but when you're on the short end of it and there's nothing you can do to stop it, oh, well, it hurts. If you, get a, if you get a stop here, I think you call a timeout. Four, three, seven on the carry. I knew I'd get it right one day. Seven on the carry. Every play, every play they're getting chunks. Seven is Jamar Darge Watley. Now you're going to have to start using your timeouts. No matter what happens here on this possession, you got to use your timeouts. They're already down in Dalton's red zone as they're on the 15-yard line. Three minutes exactly left to go in your ball game as we're going to watch more milking of the clock. Clock starts back because they've moved the chains. 2.50 left to go. 18.17 on the uh, play clock. Well, Hiram's doing exactly what you do in this kind of situation. Take the time off that clock. And Dalton is going to have to have a miracle at the midnight hour to uh, get us a win for this region opener. Take him down. Take him down. Take him down. Oh, dear Lord. We're missing tackle after tackle. Number 20, Adrian Gongora, after a gain of about five, 220 left to go. Oh, man, that clock is becoming our number one enemy right now. Yeah, I think we call a timeout there. You said they have two left. The scoreboard they still shows two, three. Because they called a timeout right before third quarter. Now, what, what is left. the official timeout count? Would it be that or somebody doing the books downstairs? Or what is the official timeout tally? Oh, it would be somebody doing the books. It's not on the scoreboard. Okay. 218 left to go from Harmon. Once again, 41-39, Hornets with a two-point lead on the Cats. All right. Did we call time out there? Is that region did? opener. I don't know that. I think it's maybe like an official timeout. I don't. I didn't see them signify anybody call a timeout really. We're all looking at something. I'm trying to figure. Is it the 25 for the? Is it the uh, play clock? Oh, right did now it not start or something or what? Look, Striker was tied in the shoe in the middle. Now they're starting the clock. Okay, there it ticks. <laughs> They've got to start using, thinking about timeouts. We've got to have enough time to score if we get the ball back. Watch Hiram's offense. I mean, that's what now we're timeout. Calling timeout. Have to. <sighs> timeout, Dalton. We'll be back to Harmon Field.
Welcome to Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Our 250,000 square foot showroom is filled with every kind of indoor and outdoor furniture imaginable, ready to take home today, along with a huge selection of custom cabinets, appliances, lighting, and accessories. Need flooring? We have that too. Shop our massive selection of in-stock carpet, hardwood, LVT, ceramic tile, and area rugs. Take advantage of our free design consultation to make your home look its best. Visit us today at Carpets and Furniture of Dalton. Your destination for Right back with you from Harmon Field. As uh, right now, Hiram has uh, got control of this game. They're up by two. However, they have it second down and five from the Dalton 10 yard line. If they score, even without a two point conversion or kicking the extra point, they're already up by eight. So uh, obviously, we need to keep these guys out of the end zone in the worst way possible. And somehow we got to get this ball back. That's a good job on the Dalton D. Once again, though, we've got to take him down because as they're fighting for yards, more precious seconds is coming off that clock. 52, Peyton Starling limping a little bit as he's coming off. You got Calum uh, limping. I mean, Dalton's beat up a little bit right now, playing a very tough Cedar Town Cedar Town and Hiram back to back. I mean, it's uh, rough. Talking to some of the guys in the um, beginning of the week, I mean, they're just – we were beat up. I mean, we're tired. We're hurt. And it, it wears on you. Late in the game, Hiram's body blow after body blow, and now you've got to have a stop, and it's can you find that will to win? Can you find that will? The only good news for Dalton is – you're down two. Um, they're, they can't really snap the ball, I guess, so they're going to probably have to go for two if they score. Maybe they kick a field goal. Can't really kick a field goal. You're down to one timeout. Is that right? They've got two on the board, but I'm pretty sure we should have just have one. They get a first down, they might be able to just run out the clock. And they've got two also, but it's still showing three. Yeah, I don't think it matters on their end. but No, no, not when they got the lead. Yeah. They get a first down here, game is probably over. I don't know that we can stop the clock, but one more time. All they got to do is get three yards. Yep. And they can get a first down at the five. Is it the five? That right like right the five. at the five. Right at the five, yeah. So it's third and three. That means they're on the eight. 159 left to go in the ball game. Hornets up by two. This is gut check time for sure. This is needing a miracle quick right here. We've seen this Going formation all night long. First there's down. the first down, and there's the touchdown. Hey, let them score. That's your only chance. That's 47 to 39. That puts them up by eight. Now, if they get the conversion here or a kick, mm. now you're out of it. But if you can stop them here, question is, can they can they snap it, or are they going to go for two? You know, uh, you really, you know, you need you got to have more than one quarterback. You got to have more than one kicker. But I guarantee you, Hiram would say you got to have more than one long snapper too. Uh, it looks like they might uh, try. I don't know. They might call a timeout here to discuss it. They are definitely mm -hmm. in a deep conversation on the sideline trying to figure out what's the best plan of attack here. The game is on the line. Again, we had these guys at 14 points at halftime, and we gave them seven of them 14. And they have lit up the scoreboard in this second half as they've put 33 on the board this second half. Dalton, go has put, extra point. Dalton has put 15 on the board. Number one is the new holder. Number one is Chase Taylor. Boy, this is a... Big PAT attempt for uh, Hiram. All we can do is pray left or right. Or bad snap. That'll work, too. Oh, got, got a flag. A Dalton no. might have been offsides. I don't know. Possibly offsides, Dalton. Let's yep. see. It's offsides, Dalton. Offsides against the big red. Somebody's on the ground. That's now, Cameron. Curtis, if that puts them half the distance, do they go for two? I don't know. We'll put, it out of put it out of reach. I mean, nine puts it out of reach, so if they make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got Cameron selling out. Okay, he got up. That's good. I don't know what they now they're going to go for two. They're doing it. So, all right, you got to have a stop if you're Dalton. And they don't, you know, they may not have a lot of. Uh, they might be worried about their. I mean, I think uh, they just missed that kick. I'm being honest. I think they just missed it. So it didn't count because it was off sides of you know pre-snap penalty. But I just don't know that they can make a. PAT. Well, we know if they get this, if they do get a two-point yeah, conversion. It's pretty much over. The fat lady has sung. So now you got to have another stop. You know they're going to go right up the middle. 
47 to 39, 154 left to go in your ball game. You got Riley Souther right in the middle of the defense. Striker, you got Striker right beside him. in the middle. High snout, but uh, Hiram is going to get the two point conversion. That will make it 49 to 39. As the Hornets have now went up by two scores. The clock is our number one enemy as it's at 154. Big red down by 10. Again, this score at halftime was Dalton 24, Hiram 14. This second half has been Hiram 35, Dalton 15. We told you Hiram can score in bunches. They can score fast. They did it last year. Right. They're averaging 45 a game. They've got 49 now. But I guarantee you they've not played a, a team as guttier, as tougher than this Dalton team. Uh, there's just so much size that Hiram has. They got speed, size. They got everything. Yeah, you've got to match them point for point. You just do. You're going to have to outscore yeah. them. Yeah. Their offense is that dynamic. I mean, Dalton's defense for three and a half quarters – was a good was as good as it gets, but they're here late. We couldn't get it. We couldn't stop nothing. How much have they scored in the fourth quarter here? Twenty uh, one. Yeah, good question. I was proud of myself for remembering Seems what like they we had were, at halftime. We were up 33-31. Yeah, at one time we was up by two, so they've outscored us eighteen to six since then. As usual, Dalton with uh, Bubba Tanner and uh, Adriel Hernandez back to receive. The kickoff or to watch it go into the end zone. Yeah, I don't think they're going to want to let a return. There she goes. All right, only chance Dalton has is score within a minute, you, onside yeah, kick. Yeah, yeah, you have got no big deal. That's easy. I mean, score, kick, uh, go for two. You're down by two. I mean, last Get week. Get the onside kick, go down, score, kick your field goal, win the game. Right, last week no we were problem. down 16 with five minutes to go. Exactly. We scored with five minutes to go. Got a stop. Had a chance, and on, uh, had the you know the ball with a minute and 45, 40, and just couldn't make it work. To this week, you got another chance. Can you do it? But you're definitely gonna have to have an, a successful onside kick. Yeah, and you gotta move down the field in a hurry. The good news is that Dalton can score quick. I mean, I'm surprised Hiram's not playing some sort of. Deep coverage just to try to keep Dalton. Some kind of prevent thing. Yeah. Ethan with the ball. Drops back. I'm going to step up now in the pocket. He's going to be sacked. That's not good because we just lost a down. You got to go. You got to get up. It's one down. Go. <laughs> it's one down. You got to go. 140. Like, time is not your friend. So. 135. Left to go. We got to find a little giddy up gear. Ethan's going to throw his out here to Kendricks. Kendricks is going to be tackled. Uh, did he, he get out of bounds? bounds? He, he got did. out of bounds. Okay. Kendricks got about eight up to the 28, so it's going to be third and two. More importantly, it lets you think. Um, try to get in a good play call right here. Whoa. 25? Could have swore he got up to the, or 26. I thought he could have got up, got up to the 28. They're just on a 26. He's third and one, so. Yeah. Actually, it's the third and four. Yeah, third and four. Wow. Scoreboard showing third and one. That'd be nice. It's third and four. Ethan throwing this one out here to Kendricks. Kendricks has got him a first down uh, and out of bounds. where they spot it. Yeah, they gave it to him. All righty. Good job, Kenny. All right. We've got to go deep. I mean, you've got to get chunks. First and 10, Dalton. 121 from the 30-yard line. No moral victories here. You want to go for the win, so you've got to go chunked. This is Harmon Field. Defend your turf. I mean, they're still not playing a prevent. They're deep, but they're not that deep. Ethan drops back in the pocket. Ethan's going to take off in the pocket. Ethan is going to be tackled, and we're losing time and lost another down here, and we didn't get any kind of yardage out of this other than one yard. This is where I think you want to use your timeout, I would think. Uh, 56 seconds. We're under a minute now. Yeah, I'm not sure why we're not calling some uh, timeouts here as we've got two. Since we have two left, I could have swore we took two. Ethan drops back. He's looking for a receiver. Time coming off the clock. Ethan's going to throw an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock. Uh, third. Third, Curtis. Third and nine. I'm having a brain cramp here. Third down. Third and nine. 37.8. 30. <sighs> yeah. This is not. You wanted to get. Like, we should. If we're going to be like this, we wanted to be on the 30 by third and seven. Or third and 37 seconds left, I should say. 
I mean, it's hard. <laughs> They're playing defense, so yeah. I don't want to be critical because it's it's hard. Um, and Ethan's, you know, trying to read it. They're not – they're deep, and it's hard to throw over the top of that. We've got 37 seconds left to go. Third and nine. Ethan looking – Ethan's under pressure now. Ethan's going to throw it out there to Bubba Tanner. Get out of bounds, Bubba. Get out of bounds, Bubba. Get out of bounds. Uh, did they – did he get out of bounds? No. Okay. Nope. 20 seconds to go. Well – our big red has fought valiantly. This second half was not kind to us as we're down to 11 seconds. Last possess, last, is it not fourth down? Yeah, it's fourth. Look out, Ethan. Ethan's going to throw. Oh, 0 0.4 seconds, four tenths of a second left to go in your ball game. Dalton, why did they put 50 on the scoreboard? <laughs> I don't know, gave him an extra point. 49 to 39 is going to be your final score. Big Red unfortunately loses their region opener. Number one doing a little taunting, but what does it matter at this point? All righty. Dalton on the short end of a 49 to 39 game. Big Red will go down to Woodland next week. And on behalf of Curtis Carson, Brandon Brown, my name is Ladarian Edgman. Good night, everybody.